Hey, y'all, this special episode of The Read is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform where you can build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile as soon as you start. And it is so simple to get started. You just pick out a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it all your own. So head to squarespace.com slash read to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, use offer code READ to save 10% off your first purchase. Again, head to squarespace.com slash READ to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, use offer code READ to save 10% off your first purchase. Let them know if you and Crystal sent you and let's start the show. Okay, let's get into some 2021 drama uh, in the pop culture segment, Hot Tops, The Squirt Locker. First up, well, who's going to be? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's start the year. Gross. Let's get to the mess this week in our pop culture segment, Hot Tops Juice. First up is the Grammys. What? What? The Grammys have been postponed due to uh, the COVID-19 virus Um. that still exists. (laughs) That's right. It was... (laughs) The show was supposed to take place on January 31st. Oh, no. Um, Y'all thought... But the Grammys decided to push it back to March 14th. They said the deteriorating COVID situation in Los Angeles with hospital services being overwhelmed, ICUs having reached capacity and new guidance from state and local governments. (laughs) That last pit tickled me. Mm -hmm. Have all led us to conclude that postponing our show was the right thing to do. Nothing is more important than the health and safety of those in our music community and the hundreds of people who work tirelessly tirelessly on producing the show so that means that a couple of weeks ago y'all had your um million millionaire march for no fucking reason because now <laughs> the girls aren't even going so there's that <laughs> what um, what is a million yeah. millionaire march <laughs> you know when the girls were all complaining oh my god did not get nominated how dare oh, you snub yeah. the weekend oh right <laughs> Actually, that yes. was Selena Gomez song. Like literally, like half the music industry lost their shit at the last Grammy nomination. That's true. Okay, let's get into the garbage this week <laughs> and hot tops. Boy Skeets World. <laughs> let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the pop culture of the week. This is Hot Tops Inside Man. Now I have. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, it took me a second. <laughs> it took me a second. You ain't shit. <laughs> hmm. So mm-hmm. yes, inside. Okay, so this week in our pop culture segment, Hot Tops, One Bottom in Miami, which is also the name of my upcoming lifetime biopic. I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this with you. This week in Hot Tops, Fleet Home, Alabama. Fleet Home, Alabama. <sighs> Just as fine as she can be. <laughs> I always like. S- <laughs> okay. <Never mind>. So <laughs> I actually see exactly what you was doing. <laughs> little, I did a mashup in my fucking head. Yeah. Anyways, a little salt and a little pepper. But I will this week just call it hot tops bottom. How dare you? <laughs> and I know that you know the reference to that. You know I do. <laughs> beast and i feel like i want i was gonna say i i'm wondering like if i should just let it sit there and move on and you either get it or you don't or if i should keep going but like sorry i did ruin forever that. and always <laughs> that is so good beast how, how dare, dare you <laughs> it's just so good and the thing about getting it is that if you get it you get it 
instantly. And <laughs> like, if you don't, you, you have don't, no you idea what the fuck people are talking about. It's because you just never heard about it. Like you, I, And that means like, you've never watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and I don't know what to say to you. Like, I don't even... <laughs> because I that can't is blame you. But pri- no, you it is arrested? prime trash TV. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. pretty awful. Yeah. If you watch anything reality, you should have seen this episode. I'm sorry. Beast! How dare you? And she meant that like, sister was full white girl of It was the whitest womanist thing I've ever. It was just so authentic. And she that's why plucked. Beverly Hills is so good because it's white women being peak white girl, but also being filthy fucking rich at the same time. Mama said, shut your fucking mouth. I've had enough of you, you beast. 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 How dare you? It was so I said, you stupid. better come through daytime, Emmy. <laughs> right. Because that's what it was. Like, she fully led. She fully like, went into leaned into my the nigga. Song. Yeah, she did. It's it so good. Like, oh, it's I so was good. waiting for that Young and the Restless music or some okay. General Hospital <laughs> them, to come Them on. damn strings in the background. <laughs> oh, God, that show is trash. All right, so. Oh, yeah. Little Steven Yuzyverse has decided that he is a crystal gem no more. <laughs> oh, you're wearing a Steven Universe shirt. I am. So, you know, this is Stevani. So yeah, it is. With Steven and Connie. So, you know, not possible, but also adorable. Sure. Yeah. Because <laughs> who cares? <Merch. laughs> right. Well, uh, uh, we've talked extensively about Little Uzi Vert, Uzi Vert and his decision to put uh, a $24 million pink rock in the middle of his forehead. My boy, right. Um, you know, and prayed it around on social media. Well, I've been wondering when the good Lord would say enough. And apparently he has. <laughs> um, because according to recent photos that... Steven Uziverse has uploaded or shared with us, or that his girlfriend that I prefer, JT, has uploaded and shared with us. Um, we ain't seeing no no pink diamond in the middle of his face no more. Mm-hmm. So it seems as though the Crystal Gem era may be coming to an end, which I'm okay with. Mm-hmm. Because every time I saw him, I wanted to just be like, <clears throat> Come live with us in the <laughs> palace. There's a room waiting for you. you. Right. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Just let us adore <laughs> you. Yes, we know that you're not her, but you are hers. You are what it meant to love her. And you remind us so much, much of her. her. Mm-hmm. Um, I all see right. it, well, but I think I think the lease expired. <laughs> oh, yeah. <the> so <laughs> they were like, "That's Instagram like, shit was yeah. cute." So give us our fucking rock back. Right. It's been forty eight days, and <laughs> it's over. <laughs> At this point, I don't. I'm not convinced that it wasn't stuck to his head with an adhesive. Like, I feel like there was, you know, like them, like, arts and crafts, rhinestones and stuff (laughs) that they have, like, a little, like, Mm -hmm. you peel a little plastic off the back and then it's sticky. Right. And then you just put it on whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm now starting to, like, how do I know that that's not what this was? Well, he was bleeding. He was. Oh, right. I was going to say, I actually think you just cracked the code, but you're right. We did see, which... Yeah, they further were begs the question of like, what doctor agreed to this? Because yeah. <laughs> I just feel like your forehead is a place you really try not to bleed from. You know, like a doctor is not going to do that to you unless it's medically necessary. And this this troll moment was not that. So yeah, it's bizarre. Um, Ooh. but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Yeah, Uzi and his doctor clearly watched watched a lot of WandaVision. And I'm glad that we have come back to real reality because it's chaos magic, Wanda. It's not... Mm. All right, I'm going too deep. The thing is, um, I'm happy that his face seems to be mostly organic again. (laughs) And um, Come on, mostly. You know, I'm happy for JT because she's tired of y'all coming for her. And I mean, bullying her or whatever. She could about, just not I guess this nigga. Do this. 
Now what? Do like him? she's, I mean, no, she could have her man and just not give a fuck what people have to say about it. Um, I don't, I don't know why that option is escaping her. <laughs> don't, <laughs> I don't know why she won't just like, if these hoes are so irrelevant and they don't matter and their opinion ain't shit and all that, why are you so pressed every time they express an opinion? This is what I don't understand. I mean, well, the peanut gallery matters to a lot of people. But see, you swear they up and down they the, don't. It can't be both. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that people don't lie. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> there's that okay yes thank you for the clarification (laughs) that's it for the hot tops this week before we move on of course you know that we've got to get into kid fury's sports I don't have a song yet. I don't have a song yet. Onika Tani Mirage may be hosting the reunion special of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Look at God. Why? It needs to happen. It doesn't, but it might. So there. <laughs> it should. Good enough, right? Sure. So, story goes a little something like this. Some undoubtedly Caucasian intern at Bravo said, you know what we should do for the Potomac sisters? We should remake Nicki Minaj's moment for life as Potomac for life. Mm. And then we should get all of them light skin heifers and Wendy. <laughs> That's the black, the, the dark skin one's name is Wendy. Yes. I almost said the black one. Like they're all black. <laughs> I mean, but were, were you wrong though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, please, the light-skinned girls are always mad at me. I don't need, I don't need to give them nothing else. Oh my God, why are you denying it? Oh my God. I don't, nobody's, oh my. I just, You hate light-skinned people. Uh, don't start y'all shit. Please keep them yellow tears. How many light-skinned kids have invaded my body? Suck my dick. <laughs> oh shit. You can never say that to me. I right, like, unironic. But I really do, I, I really do love this idea. Like, I, I, don't. I love the idea that Nikki is actually watching Housewives of Potomac and may like be dialed in and truly hype about hosting this reunion show. It would be great. I would love it. I would absolutely tune the fuck in for that. My only problem with this is that in order to watch it or like watching it requires me to also watch the real Housewives of Potomac. Yes, but it's good. I don't want to. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to I that. am incredibly intrigued at the prospect of Nicki Minaj hosting a Real Housewives reunion special. I don't know why she would truly want to do it. Right. Um, so that tells me that, like, she watches... Like she watches and she has opinions and she really wants to like get into the meat, you know? Mm. And again, that's intriguing. But the problem for me is like, I don't, I have, first of all, for clarity, I haven't watched this latest season of the Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm, I didn't even know it came back this fast and they're already gearing up for another reunion. I checked out after they tried to play Monique like she was an unfit mother because she dragged somebody that deserved to be dragged when they got her drunk and the girl was antagonizing her. And all you black women sat around in a circle and talked to that girl as if she was like the second coming of Lucifer, Satan, Beelzebub, Mm -hmm. the devil, because she like grabbed somebody's fucking um, sewing fucking weirdos. Anyway, so I've been checked out since then. And I don't know that Onika Tani Mirage is enough. Who am I fucking fooling? Of course she's enough to get me signed back in. <laughs> I'm not going to miss this. I refuse. I, there's, I'm not going to miss it. You're not. But I'm, I'm upset in the fact that I'm going to have to also deal with the fact, or I'm going to have to deal with Giselle and that fucking brave little toaster looking ass house that she got. That motherfucking mm-hmm. goddamn, her house look like. The fucking cupboard. You have you ever seen the ending in the cupboard? I have. It looked like the cupboard. Wow. Her house looks like a sketcher shoebox. 
<laughs> and, and and like everyone keeps referring to to Giselle's style and her things as tacky. Mm-hmm. And I want us to just go ahead and graduate to the the reality and the truth and and call it what it is, which is ugly. It is fine. She is not ugly. Giselle no, is a fine looking human not. being. Yeah. As as nearly all of the women on this this show are <laughs> fine looking individuals. <laughs> We don't have to get into specifics. We don't. But like her things are ugly. That's true. Your house is ugly. Your clothes are ugly. Your wigs are ugly. Like ugly. And your attitude is ugly. Mm -hmm. And I never understand. Giselle is ugly. I never understand the decisions Giselle makes, whether it's headbands or husbands. I never understand the decisions that Giselle chooses to make and put on television for the rest of us to see like. But, what are you watching, Giselle? <laughs> what are you queue up on the doll sending you the footage? Not a fucking thing, child. Maybe QVC. I have no idea what she's really looking at, but um, I do think you should get back into Potomac. The girls are having fun this season, and by fun, I mean mess. And Exactly. It's Real Housewives. Yeah, Let me guess. But it's a good time. <laughs> oh, Lord. What Let me guess. guess is right. Ashley's still having some Smeagol looking ass babies with that creepy ass white man. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Robin is still pretending to give a fuck about that nigga named Juan (laughs) as if Trade is ever going to marry her loving basketball body ass. And we don't give a fuck about none of that shit that you over there talking about, Robin. And you was in the circle or whatever. Beat it. The only reason anybody fucking puts up with you in the first motherfucking place is because the girls like to look at Juan. For whatever inexplicable reason, because Juan in himself gives me like, girl, have you filled anything out this week? Anything. I mean, you know, y'all, have you tried? y'all give Juan Dixon a lot and he's not ugly, but he's not. I'm not seeing this not at all. fineness, though. I'm not seeing this. We're not going fineness. up the ladder. We're not going through the roof. Right. <laughs> We're not seeing heaven much better. What the fuck are you bitches talking about? Right. Like Juan's not giving it up like that. I'm not seeing all that that y'all are seeing. I'm just not. I'm not putting up with with Robin and any of her boring ass bullshit or any of that other goddamn garbage that you have to deal with by way of 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 her simply being there and anti because you know her baby daddy is trade move along mm-hmm. Wendy beat it don't know why you got here and honestly the who is even the all else on there besides the grand dame who I live for um there's the grand dame girl. is like their saving grace for me honestly oh yeah Chinese kitty is on the show that's nice oh but my god like it's interesting to me that like Karen honestly went from being to me like just just revolting to now I I simply live for the yeah. Grand Dame. It's something I'm, about I'm Karen. Grand Dame Hive. I don't know what it is exactly, but I, I just appreciate that older black woman vibe, I guess. I don't know. And then Wendy is getting BBLs, but then not saying so and then being like, oh, production just didn't show y'all but i did she swooped out of nowhere with this fucking i'm the one chocolate girl on the series like cape on on some like what about all of the other black women that you're making it difficult for because you almost beat this girl's ass are y'all looping it was never this is that the real housewives it was never Don't nobody give serious. a fuck <laughs> I mean, never that serious, girl. Are you kidding? All the other black bitch. What do you think? You really you go and apply for a job and they tell you, Tasha, that they're not sure because they just watched the latest episode of Potomac and Monique got. Oh, no, Monique is the one who dragged. Candace got dragged. Don't work there. You say thank you so much. Yeah. Because that's not where you need to be. You'll be writing us a motherfucking letter about how you want to fucking put acid in your boss's latte. And you're just not sure. But that is... got to help you stay out of prison. Right. It's also just like not going to happen because you're very much overestimating the importance of Real Housewives of Potomac. Like, don't act like this one reality show no is going to dictate life for black women in None America. Like, sweetie, y'all are not even the only black it's girls on this network, much less on At reality all. TV. Like, calm down. Now, Everybody calm down. You're quietly scooping the other black it's girls. It's true. It's true. It is. It is. However, nobody... Not even quietly. They've kind of spoken up. I don't think anybody is basing their treatment of black women based off, like, what happened on last week's episode of Potomac. That's just not happening. And honestly, 
if you are, you deserve to be like exiled from any so, any form of. But that's you know reality TV dramatics. People are always doing the most and exaggerating when it's not necessary. Yeah, well, beat it. <laughs> like I don't give a fuck. You don't do anything. I don't have to like you, bitch. Like you, like get out of here, move yeah. around. Like what are you talking about? You fucked up with somebody that was really about that shit, and and you egged it on, and y'all, you and production. Right. Anyway, so Nikki, she posted the clip. Oh, the, the moment for life shit. Talking about, I'll be hosting the reunion. Let me know what y'all want me to ask child. Laughing. This was obviously like a gag and she was playing along to the fact that she got a, a nice clean check from Bravo to use moment for life as this dumbass promotion. And she also very clearly watches Potomac while feeding this baby that she still hasn't told us the name of. <laughs> Uh, Papa Bear. Oh, yeah. Which is fine. Right. I'm okay with calling We could just call him that. Right. That's fine. Yeah. When you start walking around and speaking in full sentences, I might want to know his name. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm fine with calling him Papa Bear off of the two pictures that you've shared of, of, of him with us. Man, he's cute. Anyways. Well, of course, Andy Cohen being the white gay that he is and seeing dollar signs sent his publicist on over to Nikki's front door. And she posted a screenshot in her text of her, the publicist saying, Andy Cohen said he would gladly give up his seat to have you host the Potomac reunion. Tapes around October. Nikki sent back a whole bunch of capital letters and, you know, manic response. Like, oh my God, I couldn't believe this. You Just lying. excitement. Uh, whatever. Just beside her motherfucking self. I love bitch. it for like, her. <laughs> cannot believe it. And then she went on Instagram story and used the cursive uh, font to say, <laughs> don't move. Everyone binge watch all. But don't move. Everyone binge watch all the episodes because we finna get into some fangs, hunty. I hate that. Oh, My yeah. questions will be well thought out, too. Mixed with funny and epic, of course. And Barb's, please don't send me. A million comments about the album and Doc Child. Just let me have my moment. We yes. almost there, I promise. She had to cap that by saying, like, yes, I know that y'all want for me to do all of these other things. Can you suck my dick for a moment? Like, can I just have a good time? Right. And just leave me alone. Let me live my life. Like, right now, I'm watching Housewives. You will get the music when I'm ready to put that out. But right now, I'm yeah, looking like, at Potomac. I actually am working very hard on an album, but, like... After I leave the studio, I kick my feet up. My husband rubs them because who the fuck does he think he is? <laughs> I feed my baby and I watch Potomac. Can you let me have fun? And, Can I have a good time? Yes, I will let Nikki have that 100%. It's good for her. Of course you can. But the idea of her hosting the Housewives reunion, I absolutely want it. Inject that shit directly into my fucking veins. She'll be the first and only person to host a real Housewives reunion that is not Andy Cohen. And starting right there to me is iconic. Um, and then with the 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 power that is Queen Radio, I really couldn't think of another word. The um, yeah, wow the the military the militaristic oh yes strength okay and fervor yes the cultural significance Radio. of of Queen Radio it is because incomparable. You know Andy don't give a fuck about these women. Like, he doesn't even know their names. He knows NeNe. Definitely not. And he knows that there are about seven Kims. <laughs> you just say Kim, um, you're probably right. Right. So he says NeNe, and if he doesn't know, he just says Kim. Because, like, <laughs> odds are, like, it's a good chance he'll be right. <laughs> he doesn't care about them, no. you know? Whereas I believe that Nikki actually watches... And so we'll have questions and opinions for a reunion that are based like an actual fandom yeah. and a bit of shade as well. Cause she knows ain't Nan one of these hoes gonna say nothing slick to her. Not at all. So we like, I think she would actually be a fun host. Yeah, she would. But then you run the risk of like being a great host and then leaving to go back to your regular life. And then we have to watch this nigga be the host again. That'd like, be all right. I mean, maybe not, but y'all gonna do it. So. You know, yeah. enjoy enjoy right. Nikki while she's here. You know, she's a limited edition Starburst, and you enjoy them while they're around, and then you go back to the regular hoes when their run is I over. Lanethia is livid. <laughs> Lanethia <laughs> must be. Pissed. You think so? You know, she loves Onique. Oh well, I mean, okay. Mimi likes a little Onique on her plate, or is it Porsche? No, I mean, is it Phaedra? I think stands Onique. Oh. I think all of the girls quietly like Onique, or at least would play like they like Onique. I mean, yes. Yeah. She pulled up. <laughs> the fact 
that you keep calling her Onikas. <laughs> it takes me out every time. But that's probably the baby's name. <laughs> I would actually scream if that little nigga name was Onik. I really. I think it's cute. <laughs> me too. When the apostrophe after the O. <laughs> yes. Is there any other O way? apostrophe <laughs> N I Q? Oh my god. <laughs> it's perfect it's perfect it really is oh that is disgusting oh, good anyways luck. good luck well that's it for this week's hot tops um we're gonna take a break and we'll come back right after we do it fury Welcome back to another installment. <laughs> not this, <laughs> not this cheerleader pose. Another installment of Kid Fury Sports Shorts. We're, of course, here to talk about um, the National Basketball Association finals, which are now uh, completed. Yes, they are. They're over. Mm-hmm. They're done. They are. And Crime Mob wins. <laughs> they, they, Milwaukee they nucked and bucked. They did. Uh, all the way to the finish line. They are now the NBA Finals champions. And as well, uh, the first, this is their first title since 1971. Yes, that's Back true. Back when the niggas wore G-strings to play on the court and shit. Oh my God. You remember <laughs> they used to wear like um, Daisy Dukes. And so, so, this week in Hot Tops, A Quiet Bottom Part 2. Mm, my favorite. This week on uh, The Conjuring of Hot Tops, The Devil Made Me Bottom. Did I do that one? I have no idea. But something about the devil and bottoming, I feel like I've heard that before. But that's a specific combination of yeah, words. called being gay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even sure it's within the context of you and this show. Like, I've just heard niggas talk about how bottoming is not from God. So it's a commitment. Yeah. No, you know, you really have to be dedicated to your cause. You really have to believe in what you fight for. And so my hat's off to you. Yeah. You know, it's like it's very much like when you realize that that's where you identified, you kind of cue poor, unfortunate souls mm. by Ursula the Sea Witch. I can see why. I could yeah, and it's why. kind of an exchange of like, rather than your voice, um, maybe your virtue and <laughs> rectal health. Please. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why did we take it this far? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this week in our ever um, revolving pop culture segment, um, Lord help top. Me. In the name of love, before you break my whole loop it all over. <laughs> so that's um. Oh the name my of the god! <laughs> um, Y'all gonna learn not to listen to this around your kids. I don't know why you listen to this. Y'all song. are gonna learn. <laughs> it's a terrible show. I don't know why you. It's so awful. <laughs> This week in our pop culture segment that is called um, <coughs> Come and Knock on My Hole. <gasps> it's been perking for you. It's been perking for you. You can jizz on my hair, my fur, my hips. Please come in me, boo. Come in me, boo. Okay, so that's the name of this. Gen Z will be shocked. <laughs> yeah. The name of the song. I cannot with you. Shout out to Mrs. Roper. <laughs> this week in our hot, uh, our our pop culture segment, Hot Tops, aka I've had the top of my life. Wow. And he's never felt this way before. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Let us jump into our pop culture segment, which is called Top Right Now. Thank you very much. Need me somebody to get in these guns. Come on, Hey, Jesus. you always on the run. Gotta slow it down, baby. Gotta give me some cup. <gasps> 
I told you that it got worse. I know I that we should just not believe. do this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I cannot believe. <laughs> like when I said it is when I realized that I've gone too far. In my head prior to saying it, I was like, oh, this will be fine. And then it came out of my, my mouth. God. And I was like, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> so I'm ashamed. No, don't. But, uh, no, this is a sexual expression and you are welcome and entitled to it. So good for you. you I was just gobsmacked. That was very vulgar. Yeah. <laughs> was not ready for it, but still proud of you. Thought it rhymed. And, still yeah. proud of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You spoke your truth. <laughs> okay, so let's move into our pop culture segment, which is called Stop This Top. I don't want to ride no more because it's just too <laughs> Where is this going? Because like, lyrically, I'm scared of you now. <laughs> I am afraid of you. I'm just going to leave it there this week. Okay. Last week was a lot. It was actually too much. <laughs> so We're still recovering from last week. Yeah. All right. So now we have our pop culture segment, which is called Hot Tops. Oh, I miss Dick so much. Mm. I long for some cut. <laughs> it scares me because I want it so deep <laughs> till I can't even breathe. Why would you take dick away from me? Baby, I just need me someday, someday. And oh, <laughs> I was going to keep going, but we have. I mean, I'm why tired. not? That was beautiful. You're all, uh, thank you. That was really good. And we're going to yeah. need you to cut that one in the studio. Thank oh. you so much. You Appreciate help. it. Sure. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yes, do it. All right. So this week in our pop culture segment, which is called Your Dick's Too Good to Be True. Wow. And Anthony. Can't Woo. take this ass off of you. Sing that shit. You feel like heaven to fuck. Mm-hmm. Don't when you. you're all up in these guts. <laughs> Give it up. Yes. No, continue. You need to write this out. This is, no, this is one of the ones that you need to take some time, finish the lyrics, and get in the goddamn booth. Because this is gold. I'm telling you right fucking now, nigga. I'm not playing with you. I will text you in three and a half days and remind you. I should just do a mixtape with like at least 14 of these. Yes. Just so that I can make one of those old school infomercials where the song titles scroll down the center of the screen. Oh, yeah. While you're like singing, you know, on a very off the wall esque. Actually perfect. Actually perfect. Yes. The promo. Please make that happen. Okay. This week in Hot Tops. Um, you want all my love with contraception. Yes, true. You want to <laughs> fuck my hoe <laughs> right on the line. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt that you. I could fuck you forever. The wow. only trouble is you really are not that fine. You've got one night only, one night only before I get back on Jack. Okay, I love that. All right, wow. so I don't know. I'm tired. I deck that was off the dome. It was okay. amazing. <laughs> okay, so this week in our pop culture segment. Oh, I didn't. Um, we in the car. We fuck slow. We doing mm. things that the queens don't do. <laughs> Come oh. in my hair and do <gasps> my back. Then he lick it from my pussy to my crack. Yeah. <laughs> he topping at the let out spot. Mink bucket seats on his car. Oh my God. <laughs> That's all I could come with. 
on the <laughs> walk over here. It's been I, that was more than enough. I wasn't expecting that nasty ass remix to Danny Kane. I tell you. That. I, and now we're going to go ahead and take. No, we're not going to take a break. Before we take a break, I we're going it. to get into Kid Fury's Sports. So, welcome back to another edition of Kid Fury Sports Shorts. Where we know everything about this. sports. Yeah. And sports know everything about us. <laughs> um, all right. So, this week, as usual, we have a pop culture segment um, Ooh, that is called Hello, niggas! <laughs> It's never good when you take my name is Winifred. What's yours? Now she did not say that. (laughs) She did not say. And now you're gone. She did say that. (laughs) She did not say. This pussy fell on you. Nope. This is the remix. And it was strong, (laughs) so strong, so strong. We'll move right on to our pop culture segment, which is called um, Hot Tops. It costs that much because I ride in dick for hours. Hours. It costs that much because I take golden showers. Oh, my God. So you need to pay for this ass. Oh, motherfucker, come up off that cash. It costs that much because I'm sucking dick for hours. I have I seen... I know you think my prices are negotiable. Oh, my God. But if you keep on trying in me, bitch... Shit will get real uncomfortable. <laughs> Feel free to walk away. <laughs> no, it's something wrong with you. Because I know how much my ass is worth. So hear me when I say that it costs this much because this pussy is delicious. I. It costs this much because my head game is so vicious. <laughs> You need to come off them chips or motherfucker. You can get dressed in dip. It costs this much because my oh, ass is the what? best bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, the way I have seen people use that sound for making all kinds of art, decorating cakes, painting yeah. pictures, making buttons and so shit. get a little bit more specific. Okay, and you made one for the OnlyFans girls. That's fine. Yeah. It was brilliant. Not? I don't... When is the mixtape coming out? I speak for everyone when I ask. You know, we're working on some features mm-hmm. and okay. uh, a couple of remixes. We're Great. Very, you know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I'm... Moving on to our section co- of pop culture, which is titled Hot Tops. Dush, you got to dush. Come on now, dush. You got to dush until you get it right, dush. That's all I can come up with when I walk over here. So, oh, the memories that springs back. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so let's move on into this uh, pop culture segment that's called um, <laughs> Eat Me Out on the Bearded Barley. Oh my God. Lick me. Right on the crack of my ass. Swing, swing. Swing that dick around my neck. Bust on my face long as you cut all my checks. Whoa, fuck me. Hey, right in the ass on tonight. (laughs) Me. Take it away. Out on the kitchen floor. Lift me overhead. Strike up a J and let us fuck the pain away. And... The spark and <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how it goes. I deeply cannot stand you. You did that so whole. I was like, where is this going? What is this? You are the actual worst. You are. <laughs> I never mean, forgot how Filthy. it goes. I just listened to it like two days ago. All right, so let's jump into our pop culture segment, which is called Hot Tops. I want to fuck the very best like no one ever has. 
To catch nut is my real test. To take it in my ass. And I will travel across the land. My asshole open wide. <laughs> These niggas have to run them bands before they come inside. So come on. I don't know. I, I didn't write. I don't have anything else for it. Let me see. I'm, what can I come up with? So what do you mean on. anything else? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> Let me suck them balls. <laughs> I know it's my destiny. Oh. You can't bring your friend unless he got them in. So come on. <laughs> no, I don't have. I'm finished. So you got the point. Hot talks. Every week. I don't know how you do this to me every week. I don't either. <laughs> I, really, I really don't. I really don't know I don't, how you do it. I don't it. either. I don't. I'm tired. You, you really outdo yourself. Oh, These thanks. get just, yeah, better and better. <laughs> That's the power. Well, folks, um, oh, that is about it for this week in Hot Tops. We're going to go ahead and take a break right after we dive directly into... No way. Hey! Fury! Oh oh, yeah. <laughs> the way I thought I was going to get out of it this week. Of course you weren't getting out of it this week. Are you fucking crazy? We have to talk about the magic and the majesty that is Jamaica. <laughs> no yeah. Way. When I brought him up earlier. <laughs> and so we're going to take a break and come back to do letters and things. But prior to that, of course, we have to do. do, 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 do. Kids, you That's right. It's Kid Fury Sports Shorts. <laughs> the short moment where we talk about sports. <laughs> hey, Kid Fury. <your, laughs> And this week, we're here to talk about Team USA, specifically the United States women's basketball team, uh, and how they conquered the girls over at Tokyo. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break after we do. This is not happening. Oh, Dwayne, I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> this week in Kid Fury Sports Shorts, we're here to talk about... <laughs> The same kid for you who did not know the name of the Atlantis NBA team. Excuse me. I absolutely <laughs> knew the name. I was trying to get you to say the name. Oh, right. So that you could catch up to my expertise that as an analyst more of sense. Sporting. That makes more sense. Wow. The disrespect. <laughs> Anyhow, this week, we're not here to talk about basketball. We're not here to talk about football. And we're not here to talk about track. Instead, we're here to talk about the new sport that is taking niggadom by storm. The greatest show on earth. Oh, no. That's right. Absolutely not. We're here to talk about all of your base head ass cousins out behind the Walgreens, <laughs> stacking crate on top of crate, trying to win somebody's motherfucking um, money for their mid and their Reggie that week. No. Girlfriend, so if you haven't heard, you can simply look up the crate challenge in which numerous niggas around the country have been stacking up milk crates and then trying to walk across them as if they are Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, Toad, and Peach, and Daisy for whatever inexplicable ass Negro reason, just I guess for our own entertainment and YouTube remixes. And so that has led to many people breaking their goddamn spinal cord, damn near 
snapping their neck yep. and maybe getting some money for cloves and wine black and mild <laughs> in the effort to entertain the girls on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Now, why am I in it? So... I want to particularly shout out everyone who's made an effort. There have been plenty of people across the South, Midwest, West Coast, and uh, certain parts of Boston and New Jersey and (laughs) Queens that have been climbing on these crates and snapping their vertebrae from side to side in an effort to make your your, um, bored asses laugh and send texts. We want to send in a special shout out to one T. TZ is an, an average black American round the way girl, possibly from Cleveland, Ohio, who effortlessly climbed the Negro crag from side to side and was able to collect money from all of her ghetto suitors and take it home. Also, we're um, sh- showing honor to one Mike, who's seemingly from, I don't know, Newark, maybe Forest Hills, possibly Bushwick, who also not only effortlessly cr- climbed Legends of the Negro Temple, but also did so while uh, rolling a blunt. You may have seen this now viral video of Mike from possibly East Orange or maybe the Bronx. Mm-mm. Doing, um, you know, the the um, <laughs> the nigger Lodi and guts <laughs> challenge, Please while also up. successfully rolling, lighting, and smoking a blunt on the way down. He also collected a cash prize. Now, most of your uncles, many who seem to be named Obadiah, possibly Myrtle, and Anime, um, may have died. Or been admitted to the emergency room in a quest mm-hmm. to collect, uh, you know, two dozen $5 bills to make it past this crate challenge. <laughs> and I simply want to know why. I haven't received an answer, but that's not what sports shorts is about. It's about talking about the athleticism, the nerve, the uniqueness, charisma, and talent that it takes to 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 make it past this the challenges such as this and the sportsmanship within i want to know why the fuck y'all are doing this i want to know why the fuck y'all are doing this on cement i want to know what kind of boredom it takes for you motherfuckers to say hey let's bum rush the closest cvs the nearest kroger or Publix." And take their crates from them to simply climb on it for the amusement of Instagram reels. No one has yet answered me. And I'm concerned. But here we are reporting live from your events, wishing you all the well. I just imagine, I I can't help but imagine what it must be like to be a doctor, <laughs> to be a nurse, to be anyone working in the medical field. I cannot fathom. Struggling to get niggas breathing on a day-to-day basis. Struggling without resources to keep you ungrateful hoes alive in the face of the Delta Sigma Theta variant, the Kappas, the Kappa variant of COVID, simply shimmying down your fucking esophagus and infecting your lungs. What they are doing, when they do, what all of these medical officers, what they are possibly doing after spending 20 to 30 minutes in the storage closet, bawling their eyes out because they don't have enough help and coming out trying to get the next bitch breathing. Meanwhile, here you go, rushing Malikian on a goddamn gurney from his appearance on Wild and Crazy Migos where he snapped his goddamn spinal cord in two trying to do the goddamn crate challenge. Oh, no. What is that about? What's it gonna take? You don't want to get the motherfucking vaccine because of what it might do to your lungs, but you're willing to sacrifice your goddamn spine, rib cage, femur, shin, sternum, every one of your goddamn bones and vertebrae and muscles for the sake of TikTok. 
That's it for this week in Kid Fury Sports Shorts. We talk about all things sports and everyone um, doing a great job in it. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, I do this for you guys and for um, diversity. <laughs> You're welcome. And gonna we're gonna you have any please. Yeah, okay, great. I just, <laughs> just <laughs> would love to take a break right now. <laughs> we will come right back with your letters. Hey y'all, the Quip Electric Toothbrush is loved by over 7 million mouths and has timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide you to a dentist recommended two minute thorough clean, a lightweight and sleek design with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. That multi-use travel cover that I love because it doubles as a mirror mount for less clutter and reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues. My favorite is that all black and bright plastic color to make sure that it adds a little pop to your bathroom counter. On top of your brushing, you can upgrade your Quip with a new smart motor to track and improve your brushing with the free Quip app and earn amazing rewards like free refills, products, Target gift cards, my favorite, and more. Beyond the Brush, Quip has everything you need to com- to build a complete dental health routine, okay, which is so important. An anti-cavity toothpaste in mint or watermelon flavors that helps prevent cavities. Reusable floss pick that replaces over 180 disposable picks with every refill. I have to say, you girls really should be flossing. It is so important. If you are skipping it, you are skipping a vital step in your in your dental health please floss and a refillable mouthwash that is a 4x concentrate and good for you and the planet in addition to brush heads quip also delivers fresh floss toothpaste mouthwash and gum refills every three months starting at just five dollars and shipping is free so you can save money and skip the bustle and you know honestly the scariness of in-store shopping these days with stylish and affordable electric brushes starting at just 25 dollars you will not be paying through your teeth <laughs> you get it for better oral health so go to getquip.com slash the read right now to get your first refill for free that's your first refill free at getquip.com slash the read that's g-e-t-q-u-i-p.com slash the r-e-a-d quip is the good habits company so go pick up some good habits and let's get back to the show we're back folks it's time to read your letters Yes, it is. Send your questions to asktheread at gmail.com. We may read them aloud on the show. Our first letter comes from somebody who didn't ask me to give her a fake name, but I feel like we should. Oh, damn. So um, I'm going to call you. Don't uh, ask me because I'm going to give okay, you something I was gonna stupid. Say, <laughs> I, need a, I need a girl's name. I'm going to just call you. Um. Jessica. That's nice and generic. Yep. So Jessica says, I have great benefits through my job, and one of the perks is free rental cars. Last week, my travel group and I went on a trip, and we agreed to rent a car and split the costs. We pick a car that was big enough for everybody and within our budget, and I offered to book it. I booked the car and used my company promo code, so I got it for free, but I did not tell the group about this. So essentially, I got to keep their share of the money. They found out about this, and now they're all mad at me. I fully understand that I was kind of deceptive by not telling them about my company's promo code, and I apologize for that and explained (laughs) that I did that because I thought they would be unwilling to pay otherwise because I was getting the car for free. However, we still would have had to pay for a rental car regardless. So I really don't understand why the group is still so upset that I kept the money. It is my company benefit and I do not have to share it. One of the girls also said she was upset because she was low on money and would have loved to save on the rental car costs. But I told her that she would have had to pay the car rental if I didn't have the discount and I don't have to share my company benefits in the first place. So I do not appreciate her projecting her frustrations with her brokenness onto me. Again, I acknowledge. I think I might need you to start over. <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> I literally don't understand what's happening. I think I like. <laughs> I think I need you to start over because I'm. I really. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> so this 
this girl has benefits through her job that allow yes. her to get free rental cars. Yeah. So she and her homegirls were going on a trip. She offered to book the car that everybody agreed on, but then she used her discount code so that the car was free. But oh. she still took everybody's money. <laughs> okay. So the price was like, you know, 200 or whatever. They split it by five. She took everybody's money, but then she got the car for free and didn't tell nobody that. But they found out anyway, somehow. <laughs> OK, you, you got it now. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't as lost as I thought. I was. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I'm right That's where I was. Yeah, like, okay. So that is <laughs> so you were right on track, eh, man. Because again, I feel like we've been getting these letters that are very audacious. <laughs> Listen, I do my best. The inbox is full of <laughs> I can't even describe to y'all what it's like to lock into that inbox. The topics run the gamut, girl. I do my best. Okay. Sorry for interrupting. Where are we? No, it's fine. So um <clears throat> she says again. I acknowledge that I was deceptive, but I don't think they're being fair with the way that they are all icing me out and refusing to speak to me. Please let me know what y'all think. Thanks, Jessica. Jess, I think you know what the fuck we did. (laughs) (laughs) Are you actually fucking serious, Jessica? Like, what? Oh, girl, you tried it, sister. You couldn't (laughs) like you. you, She keeps saying things like, I mean, I acknowledge that I was deceptive, but I don't get why y'all are mad, bitch, because you were deceptive. Like as fuck. (laughs) And I just feel like these people can't really be your friends because I would absolutely tell my friends if we could save money on a rental car, like I would not be trying to take money from them. I would be like, bitch, all we got to do is everybody put in on gas, you know, because I get the car for free. Like, why wouldn't I want my niggas to save money? Why would I? Like, it's extremely selfish to be like. You're shocked that they're upset and speaking to us as if we (laughs) should share in your confusion. And we're confused as to why you are confused. Like, I don't understand why you would not offer them that information, even if you wanted to keep their money or whatever. (laughs) Like, I don't know why you wouldn't be like, hey, y'all, so I actually can get this car for free. Well, that's why she said that's why she said it, because she was afraid that if they knew she could get it for free, they wouldn't chip in on it. But my question is, like, why did you want them to chip in on it if you didn't have to pay for it? Exactly. I don't understand. Why did these girls have to be a source of income for you? Aren't y'all friends? Like, again, like Crystal just said, like, you could have been like, all right, because, you know, gas is also quite pricey. And so. Right. So, you know, cheaper than a car and gas. Now we can just pay gas. <laughs> like, if you're going but on a trip, you saving money should just be something you look out for in right. general. You never know when you're going to need it for X, Y or Z. Exactly. So I feel like like <laughs> there's that very obvious point. And then also for you to be like, I don't get why everybody is still so mad. It's like, what? because you were deceptive. As hell. And you're right. Like it is your benefit, your perk through your job. And you're right. You don't have to share it, which means you could have just chipped in on the car with everybody else, collected their money and paid for it without using the discount. Why did exactly. you not to do that? Exactly. Like, you're a shady fucking bitch, girl. And you wonder why people don't want to talk to you no more. Bitch, because you're fucking shady as shit. Are you all right? <laughs> you ask this every week. <laughs> like... <laughs> And every week the answer is no. You like, I acknowledge I was deceptive. Why are y'all still so mad? Because nobody wants to travel with a bitch that they can't trust. Are you joking? Did this, this girl is the say people don't you travel with? Did this girl say they projected their brokenness onto yes. her? You're a terrible person. <laughs> oh man like sister she's projecting her brokenness like this is have you heard of life on earth (laughs) like are you fucking kidding me everybody is trying to save all the goddamn dimes nickels and pennies they can these days in any way they can and you did some literally shady shit that once again you have acknowledged was shady 
But then you're you're at a loss when it comes to them treating you like a shady person. <laughs> right. And that doesn't it just really doesn't make sense, sister. It really doesn't. Like you can't expect people who expect to have a level of trust amongst each other to still trust you after you did something like that. Scammed her friends and don't Scammed know why they don't like Scammed your own friends her. and now you're like, I don't get it. Like everybody's icing me out. Ain't nobody talking to me, girl, because you were the fuck wrong for that. I literally don't know how you are close enough friends with someone that they want to go on a trip away with you, but you were not willing to be like, hey, guess what? Like, I would be so excited to be the one that's like, guess what? We ain't got to pay for a bitch. Like, right. who doesn't want to be the plug? For their- I mean, she does. She calls it her travel group. She doesn't necessarily say friends. So maybe she doesn't think of these people as friends, but who has a travel group that's not made up of friends? So that's another thing I don't get. Like, is this people that you like, how would they have found out about it after the fact if you didn't already know them? What's the benefit of traveling with niggas that you aren't friends? Cheaper with? prices, I guess. Like, but I then would, wouldn't like, you understand them trying to save their goddamn money? Ex- that's what I'm saying. I'm like, just either the- way you slice it, it don't make no sense. <laughs> There's no way to save you from this one, girl. Either way you look at it, you was wrong for that. You should have either paid out of pocket with everybody else and not used your discount or used your discount and told niggas, hey, let's just split the gas or, you know, every time the gas comes, we divide it by four or five or whatever it is and everybody cash up each other or whatever. <laughs> like you should have done that. As opposed to just taking everybody's money for this car (laughs) and then fully putting it in your pocket like you didn't get that shit for free. Like that is it's not theft, but it's almost theft. I feel like it's theft adjacent. It is. It's definitely lawyers probably have a name for that. But yeah, for sure. (laughs) It's this deceptive is putting it kindly. Very. Dead ass. Very. (laughs) It feels pretty steely. (laughs) <laughs> so you know you can accept that but stop asking yourself why they're still mad stop acting like you can't understand why they're mad you need to just accept that you did them the fuck wrong and so of course they're mad and maybe they talk to you again and maybe they don't but stop acting like it's just impossible to understand why they would be pissed with you at least tell the truth to yourself this woman that is absurd <laughs> this woman's nerve was so severe. I legitimately <laughs> thought that I didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> like, You're like, no, start over. I was like, no, wait, I don't. <laughs> I was so like, I was like, I, but I had to, I wasn't paying attention to something clearly. <laughs> Did she like, just no, say that she really like stole? <laughs> I you think I think you're right in Kevin Samuels. <laughs> no, <laughs> like something. Oh no. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, God damn. Good yeah, luck. So, <laughs> I think you need to be honest with yourself, uh, Jessica, and then yeah. go from there. <laughs> yeah. A very heartfelt apology, a refund of everybody's money, and you know leaving the door open for them to talk to you if they find it in their hearts to forgive you. I think that's where you should start. (laughs) Wow. God damn, girl. Okay. Best of luck. Thanks for the update. Let's dive right into our first letter this week. It comes from Ashley, who says, my boyfriend and I are both 33 years old. I'm an accountant making $80,000 plus commission, and I work 10 to 12 hours a day. Hmm. My boyfriend makes about 40K. He is a musician and works about 10 hours a week. He sleeps all day and stays up all night playing video games. When we moved in together three months ago, I agreed to paying $1,100 a month for rent while he pays the remaining $400 because I make more money than he does. I thought that he wasn't working because of COVID, but now I realize that this is just his lifestyle. He thinks that because he can pay his portion of the rent, that he shouldn't get another job doing something he hates when he can continue doing what he loves. He thinks that if he gets a che- he thinks that if he gets a steady job during the week that it could interfere with a random gig which in turn would be a missed opportunity. On one hand, he makes <laughs> he makes about $100 an hour and since he doesn't have a degree, he would have to work a full day at a regular job to make that much. He is white and he does come from a rich family, but they don't help him financially. 
I admit that my idea of a man is a provider and I'm starting to think that my boyfriend is selfish and lazy. Am I in the wrong for wanting him to contribute more and wake up before noon? It seems like if I have to suffer and get a job and pay these bills, he should have to do the same. Thanks, guys. I love you both so much. I've listened to every episode. Thanks, Ashley. <clears throat> Ashley, I'm assuming that you are not white. Oh, no, she's not. She's black. So, and paying a white man's bills. Mm. Mm. Uh. Mm. 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 I'm sorry. The ancestors are shuddering right now. You mean to tell me <laughs> you are paying the bulk yep. of this man's expenses. Mm-hmm. He sleeps and games and makes excuses for a living. You're not married. <clears throat> you didn't mention children. <clears throat> why is this man in your house? I don't understand why... Um, where when does he get out when does he when <laughs> when does he leave the home because when he works when he has a gig my problem with no. that bullshit is oh no that should not prevent you from getting a better job, bigger job, working more hours, doing whatever to just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hold your own weight, balance things out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're talking about a gig that could come up, mm-hmm. when I hear the word gig, yeah. typically I think of an opportunity which may be great, but will also likely be uh, temporary, many times mm-hmm. uh, very short-lived, yep. sometimes just a day. One night only. Yep. Yep. That's right. So how is that stopping you from going down and filling out applications, doll, baby? I don't understand why you can't. Do more. You can. You don't want to. And this is what the fuck I be talking about. Y'all be out here. Motherfucker. Paying these niggas. Feeding these niggas. Sucking and fucking these niggas. Yep. Clothing these niggas. Birthing their babies. Raising them. Doing all of these goddamn things. And a nigga won't even wipe his ass. Mm. <laughs> I don't. And this is a white. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> oh, Ashley. I don't oh, understand. Ashley. I So. <laughs> I. So the question that you're asking at the end of this letter, am I wrong (laughs) for wanting him to contribute more and wake up before noon? No, that's not what you're wrong about. You're not wrong for wanting that, but you are wrong for agreeing to it because three months ago when y'all moved in together, y'all's rent was $1,500 and you agreed to pay $1,100. That's where you fucked up. You're not wrong for wanting somebody who works regularly or makes more money or gets up and does something with themselves. But you agreed to do this. I think that is that was your crucial mistake here. He he thinks so you said that like he thinks because he can pay his part of the rent, he shouldn't have to do a job doing something he hates. I mean, and that's the thing. He doesn't. Like, he doesn't have to do something he hates. He doesn't have to push himself in any way because somebody 
is going to take care of the bulk of his expenses so that he can sit around and play video games, stay up late, smoke weed, work whenever the mood strikes or whenever an opportunity comes up and still be just fine. And even when he didn't have you to lean on, he had his rich family in the background. You said they don't support him. I don't know if he don't talk to them or if it's just like, I don't want any help. Mom and dad, I am a girl grown up. I don't know which one that is, but either way, he always had a safety net. And it just is like you're his safety net instead of his family. So... You can always um, change your mind. You can always say, I thought that this was going to be a lot more acceptable. And now that I see that, you know, I I have to sacrifice so much. I get up early. I'm at work all day. I may, I work 10 to 12 hours a day, come home and here you are and you done left pork and bean juice on my countertops and it's dirty socks all over the place and you just got up three hours ago and you haven't even showered yet today like (laughs) you can always say I'm not happy or I'm not satisfied or this isn't what I want out of a long-term partnership but you know you also have to take accountability because you willingly went into a situation knowing that you would be paying more than twice, nearly three times what a white man is paying for rent. I just don't know. I really don't know how that you swallowed that in the first place. I don't know how that ever seemed like a good idea. I don't know how that ever sounded like something tolerable to you. If I was moving in with a white man, a white man, I can't actually I truly fathom having a fun. job at all. I can't even imagine having a job. If the nigga was... <laughs> No, with purple polka dots. I'm paying I'm not doing eleven hundred dollars. You're paying four hundred. So that a man nigga. can sit down. A man. I don't girl, give a fuck girl, if the girl, nigga was oh, a dragon. You motherfuckers be dating <laughs> Phil and Lil, and then you are like gagged when they have toddler tantrums. Everybody's confused. I don't feel sorry for none of y'all. You both of you niggas need to speak to licensed uh professionals. Mm-hmm. Because the yeah. fact that you the fact that you agreed to this and put this bitch in the position to even look at you, Kaka, to be on some of the well, <laughs> I don't understand that because if I go get a job, then what about a gig? What's 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 going on? What's wrong? Because a gig could be his big break. And and I don't give a a fuck about his big break, little break, medium break, break, venti, latte, grande. I don't give a fuck what I don't care. I'm talking about you, sis. Ashley, what's wrong with you? What's what's Mm. where who failed you? Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's get into it. Because how did we get here for anybody? But the fact that you are looking at a white man. Mm-mm. 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 No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's not no, the way to get out. It's not. Now, y'all just moved in together three months ago. So you probably have another nine months on this lease. But luckily. I mean, he you should know, get out. It's your home. Yeah. You having a full time job and <laughs> an actual salary. Uh, can probably cover that $1,500 all by yourself. No problem. Like he's only paying $400. Like. And I bet you paying all the utilities too, girl. I bet you are. Ooh, uh uh-uh. Oh, my God. My thing is, I love uh, entrepreneurship. I love creative energy. How could we not? I love people who, right, who want to, like, do their own thing and make their own thing and all that other stuff. Um, However, at the same time, when you're in a relationship, especially... If you are living together, sharing expenses of any kind, give and take is just unfortunately a part of the formula. And I personally would not have so much of a problem um, doing a bit more supporting than my partner who is a creative or whatever, trying to like 
get a business off the ground. If I see that you are mm-hmm. working your ass off to make that stuff happen, if all if all you can do is four hundred out of this fifteen hundred, but you busting your ass, losing sleep like my motherfucking ass was doing in and yeah. out of college, high school, and shit like that, working full time, going to school full time, losing sleep, editing videos at five o'clock in the motherfucking morning, doing all of that shit. If I see you doing that. Then I'm not going to have as much pressure for you, if any. But what you're not going to do is sleep until Judge Judy come on and then play a couple of rounds of 2K and Call of Duty and then talk to me about a gig. Get out of my house. Yeah. While I'm at work all day? Because here's the thing. You can go and do that wherever the fuck you going to stay and I can pay my rent in my apartment. Right okay. Where I stay. And then where you're per- when you're permitted to come over... Great. Yeah. And we'll see how long that lasts. But I'm not paying your rent, sweet bitch. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I really can't. I don't. I, I mean, I feel like I've been in love before, but I've never had these kind of feelings for somebody. I've, I've never stupid. had. <laughs> I, I mean, I've done. never had. I'll pay eleven hundred dollars while you pay four hundred and don't do shit. Well, with when your I was this dumb, yourself. I didn't have eleven hundred dollars for nobody. <laughs> so, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but if I did, I might not have. for me, you, us as a collective. Nobody, not for nobody. Right. So, so thankfully. Oh, Ashley. Yeah, you know you're not wrong, but you're gonna have to sit down and have some very real conversations with him. And you know, if maybe he needs to tap into his rich ass family and have them. And then mama has money. Right. Like if 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 the money is available, then maybe he should have his family start paying the rent so that it's not all on you. But again, you agree to this. You need to ask yourself why. I'd be like, Kendall Roy, get the fuck out of my house Mm -hmm. and find you somebody to play with. This is probably your apartment. His name is probably not on it. Or if it is, it's like. Here is the other uh, person over 18 who will be living here. Like the lease is probably in your name. So, you know, do with that information <laughs> what you will. But I think you need to have some difficult conversations with yourself about why this you you. You saw the situation and decided to to walk right into it. But you can always change your mind, girl. You can always go back and you can always kick this motherfucker out. And move on with your life if that's what feels is right for you. But are you wrong for having your feelings? No, I can't say you are because I feel the same way. And it's not even about him being a man necessarily. It's about him being a partner. I'm not going to bust my ass and be at work all fucking day while you don't do anything. And it's not like you're at home raising our kids or something. You just at home chilling. And that's another thing. I don't want nobody in my house all day. I don't want nobody always Dwayne, in my home. Tyler, nobody. White so. <laughs> men can't pay. <laughs> so. Sex for me, and I'm an individual. Yes. Sex for me is so much more fun and so much more satisfying when, yes, I am being pleased, but I am also blowing your motherfucking mind. Mm. It needs to be. Give and take. It does. So I don't understand you fucking open mouthed airhead ass niggas who don't try to take your partner to the next level. Women living whole lives, Mm -hmm. not nutting. This is this is tragic. I'm sorry. Tragic. And y'all be so motherfucking upset when you're the lady in your life or whoever the fuck listens to this podcast and then comes back to you with demands and nerve. And I'm gonna continue <laughs> because I just don't understand how motherfuckers I am still stuck on the pregnancy kick. Do you know what these human beings are doing inside of the bodies of these <laughs> individuals that you have nutted in that you have nutted in and then they have to like they can't drink they can't smoke there's foods they can't eat for a whole year basically bitch and then they have to beg you to make them bust a nut why can't women murder why aren't they just allowed to murder 
Cliff Notes. Bitch, you got some motherfucking nerve. Turn off the goddamn ESPN 2K um, hype beast, bitch, and read. Learn something from this. Like, what? Why the fuck wouldn't you? I, listen. This is wild. It is. I don't know. Typically, in a lot of situations, especially when you're married, I'd be like, oh, hint, hint. How can we maybe, you know, pass the soft hint, hint, uh, transition into a pettier state yep. of affairs? How can we do that? <laughs> um, And then, you know, we get into just straight up, no holds barred. <laughs> saying it with our chest right you've bought vibrators you've got lube you bought books um i feel like you've done your your thing honey Mm -hmm. so at this point i feel like it's time to say with clasped hands directly into both of this nigga's retina yep either i'm going to bust a nut or I'm busting it out of the front door. Say it. Say it. Yes, me and this pussy is out. We are. Either I'm busting a nut mm-hmm. or I'm busting open my suitcases. I am. Then I'm going to throw your things into it. Put them out on to the front of the doorstep. Amen. And you can contact your mama. Yep. For a place to stay. You can do that. Because what I won't be doing is committing myself to a marriage Niggas. for the rest of my days <laughs> where I have to figure out alone how to get myself there. We're not going to do that, nigga. This entire experience is 50-50. Correct. That's what the whole marriage shit was about. That's what the vows were about. That's what all of this was Sharing. about. So if you don't get me there, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying to you today, nigga? Like, I think that it's time for you to just use your voice. I mean, the fact that you can come by yourself, but not with your husbands, I mean, says a lot because... <laughs> a lot of women can't they don't get there through like regular penis and vagina intercourse and so a lot of them need to switch up positions or add in some toys or whatever to get and that's fine but it's fine as long as your partner is trying to please you to me the sex is not even the problem yes. here it's the yes. fact that he knows that you're unsatisfied and does not care to do anything yes. to fix it like if you yes. I mean is is he not open to taking direction if you like, oh no, nah, move it a little bit to the left? Okay, stay right, just oh yeah, like right there. Like just like that. If the nigga can't take directions and refuses to read and learn from for himself and puts it on you like it's your problem that he can't make you nut when you can do it by yourself. Girl, girl, girl. You're only twenty six. That's what I'll say. I'll say twenty six is enough time to start all the way over. <laughs> The whole way through. All the way, girl. The way I would, I mean, I I would always recommend couples counseling, but I would try to make this really fucking simple for him. Like, I feel like you do not value me as a woman, as a person, as your wife, because I am telling you this about sex, which is important in any sexual relationship. I am telling you this about my level of satisfaction. And it's not like you're trying your hardest and you still can't do it. You just like, oh, well, I I get mine. Don't know what's wrong with you. What kind of attitude is that to have towards your wife? Girl, say it now. And if he is not willing to do anything, he's not willing to go to counseling to work on his shit. He's not willing to learn about how to please you sexually. I don't think this is the sort of person that you want to settle with. For the rest of your days. For what? Also, you can have petty fun. I would. I would find like 
my favorite, I don't know, stand up comic who makes fun of weak dick niggas or something like that, I would stick in the fire stick, the Chromecast. <laughs> oh, yes, and laugh I'd real hard. I'd get me some smart food, <laughs> white cheddar popcorn, and I would cackle with the fucking flat screen at oh, yes. maximum volume. <laughs> like, I would, like, I would clearly be identifying with motherfuckers mm-hmm. who are talking about weak dick niggas. Because if there's one thing that might get some action, behind your nigga it's fully emasculating him with laughter oh yeah and have your but home why do we need to too. go there have your homegirls there too and all of y'all watching a comedy special about niggas yes. with awful dick screaming <laughs> screaming talking about ooh margarita I know you can relate <laughs> clinking flutes and bellowing fuck is this nigga talking about you are 26 oh, bitch clear him yeah fuck you talking about you have all the time in the world and you're not about to spend or waste too much of it while you're still young and fertile and your your uh, stallion knees are working on all that yeah, shit trying to chase a nigga to get you to nut when that nigga is not even trying to some of these niggas literally just still seem to not be able to know how a clit works where it is me myself as a whole entire homosexual who has never truly investigated a vagina I feel more <laughs> confident that I can make a woman that a lot of these niggas that y'all are committing yourselves to and that like it's one thing if it's like I just suck at this mm-hmm. it is it's a whole other thing where it's just like I don't really give a fuck because people who are bad at it can be trained and for people who got young who got together so young got married very young I would think that he would be very invested in wanting to learn how to please you his wife it just seems it seems astounding to me that this is something <laughs> That is even up for conversation. Like, if you don't, if you're not interested in making me happy, why did you marry me? Wasn't it like a, wasn't it like a a badge of honor to have great dick? Like, y'all don't, y'all don't like. You know, niggas used to take pride in in being able and having incredible dick skills. Now you're just like, oh, it's a hole. And I'm going to get mine. Who gives a fuck how she feels? Gross. Well, you don't Mm -hmm. need to give a fuck, honey, because I will get a fuck, but it won't (laughs) be from Okay, let's go, little kitty cat. (laughs) You don't want us no more, girl. That's it. That (laughs) is the moment. That is the vibe. That is the era. That is the state. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting the hell up out of there. Um, I hope y'all can work it out. Cliff Notes. (laughs) Bitch! Bitch. How much is ass treat from you, bitch? Cliff notes. Lazy fuck. You've already tried harder than I would. <laughs> Literally. I, wish, I really wish a dyke would tell me, oh, I'm not. I know that you're not happy with our sex life, but I'm not interested in fixing that. I literally wish you would. Oh, cool. Bitch, the way Bye. you will never see me again. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> actually want somebody to do it now just so I can laugh because yes why else would I I mean not saying there's no other reason to be with somebody but this is a marriage I'm going to laugh in your face like Raven folding that peanut yeah. butter and jelly sandwich yes and when I come out of my laughter you will know that the fucking lift is outside mm-hmm. at the moment right. and you have approximately two minutes before they start charging <laughs> so I would get the fuck up if I were you, <laughs> I would go ahead and make other arrangements about, you know, what I'm going to do, because it's, it's not like it would be at all, except if he was the one never coming and completely unsatisfied with y'all sex life. It is not like it would be acceptable for you to be like, oh, well, nigga, figure it out. I got my nut. Have a good day. Like. You should not have to tolerate a marriage. He would be fucking your second cousin immediately at home. the same day. <laughs> In your bed, girl. In your bed when you get home. Mm-hmm. When you talk to him about it, make sure you mention that you are at the end of your rope about this. Like, this is not something that you're willing to, you're not willing to tolerate bad sex for the rest of your life. You're only 26. Imagine never getting a nut from your husband for 50 years or some shit. Nah, I'm out. Set the standard now. Or start cheating. Set the fucking standard now. Okay, we have another uh, one last email. Very quick question from Sedane, who wants to know if you, Kid Fury, have watched <clears throat> Jujutsu Kaisen and The Demon Slayer. Jujutsu Kaisen and The Demon Slayer. Yes, apparently it's a movie. 
I'm I'm gonna say okay. no. <laughs> No, I feel like these are two different things. Jujutsu Kaisen, I think, is an anime slash manga that I am not familiar with, but I have heard of. Oh, however, okay, these are two different productions. All right, got you. Yeah. Demon Slayer, I just started this past weekend and am thoroughly enjoying um, and I simply started it because I kept hearing about it nonstop. And I think there's like a, a movie that came out not too long ago that uh, did really well and is really popular and still in IMAX and theaters and shit. So I started that because it's still in its first season. So I'm trying to catch up on it. And it's really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and I haven't watched like a new anime thing in a while, especially one that's kind of adult. Um, mm. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. But the other one, Jujutsu Kaisen, I don't know shit about whatever the fuck that is. So y'all gonna have to just, okay. <laughs> you know, bear with me. This person... I like Demon Slayer. I'm very Nezuko so far. Please no spoilers. Don't spoil. I'm only on like episode 11. So okay. have please. you seen, <clears throat> have you seen, um, Mob Psycho 100? Yes, I love Mob Psycho. Okay, that one, she recommended that I watch that and that I watch Dr. Stone and The Promised Neverland. Good. Yes, all good stuff. Okay. I don't know that you would, I don't know that you would enjoy any of them to try. <laughs> like, I don't think any of them seem like your tea. You're not really an anime girl. I like, tried. I tried to watch the one with An, 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 Andara, An, Ankala, the last. The Lost Somebody? The Last Airbender? Yes, The Last Airbender. I tried to Avatar. watch Avatar. Sorry. I tried to watch Uncle that. Love. Uh, That's not even an know, anime. I just thought if I, if I, ah, da, da, like if I got it it's out. like anime adjacent. It would click for me, but, oh, it's not? It's also so good. How could you not like The Last I, Airbender? What are you, crazy? I don't, you know, I don't even think I disliked it. It just did not hold my attention. You need to finish it. Oh, okay. I will force myself to do that. It's like 30 episodes. No, it's, I think it's 20 episodes a season. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have plenty of time to do that. <laughs> you need to finish it. I, I am in school. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah. Um. Okay. But I, might- I talked about recently on the show about how fucking over the fact that the James Cameron Avatar films are getting sequels the same time that like Nickelodeon and the creators of the last airbender created this avatar studios. And now we have to go back through the whole, like which avatar are you talking about? The one that's good, stupid, (laughs) the fucking fake Pocahontas blue garbage. Okay. But I will add these. MAGA interstellar (laughs) MAGA interstellar MAGA. I will add these um, to my list of things to look at. You know, when I have additional time or whatever, maybe. But yeah, I just don't know if most. I think Steven Universe might be the the most anime that yeah, I can really, really get into. Most anime, yeah, thing perhaps. Got. So, because pretty anime. Let's not forget what Sailor Moon did to me. <sighs> Again, I won't. I won't know, do it. I won't hard do when it. you're an adult. <laughs> it's hard to when you're grown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, dude, because the way different. you had a fit at my house just the other day when the topic yeah. of Harry Potter movies came up. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: like objectively, I'm not. <laughs> you are. I'm really not. <laughs> You only watched the first three. Only? There's like 18 more. I suffered. More. I suffered. I toiled. Yes, as did the rest of us. <laughs> but guess what, Helen? Awful. We read the books when we were seven. Yep. And you read them when you were 30. Correct. And so you should have been watching the movies when we were nine, like there are when no, you were 12 you. No, or thank you. 15. <laughs> and like... And you didn't do that. I did not. And so you now have to suffer through the bad wind. No, I don't. And whatever the fuck else so that you can get to the good shit because it does get great. And there's Helena Bonham Carter and... um no and the effects get better no and the acting gets better and alan rickman no is is eternal and immortal and fantastic and um i knew it was going to be garbage when Dobby. shario told me that peeves is not in the movies i knew what right the then, fuck do you want i'm just saying i knew in that very moment it was going to be a waste of my time and i was right so 
I'm not doing this. Okay. And yeah, let's not, because we just did this on Sunday and you were yeah. very passionate. Because you're wrong. <laughs> but let's move on to our next question. It comes from Frida, who says, my best friend and I have been friends for about eight years and she's been there through breakups, jobs, kids, you name it. I've been dating this new guy for about six months and we talk about him a lot. One day we were on the phone blabbing and she randomly came out and said she bought my nigga some candles from Bath and Body Works because she remembered last week that he says he likes them. <laughs> Confused. I asked, her, I asked her, girl, why you buy them candles? She said, because she was already at Bath and Body Works and then basically blew off my concerns. Oh, I definitely that felt away. It. And I told her to return them candles and get something for herself. She again became dismissive and said, girl, they're just candles. Relax. We haven't talked since then. I think it's weird for my <laughs> friend to buy my man anything. <laughs> so how would y'all handle this? Should I just let it slide or should I say something? Thanks for the advice. Love the show, Frida. I adore this email. I am having a great time. I this love it. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> so what would you do if your friend overheard your man saying how much he liked Bath and Body Works candles and then bought that nigga some candles during the $4 sale or whatever they had going on last week. So I think that I would probably begin uh, thoughts on, on my approach after I ring the doorbell. Um, oh my God. Because I'm coming to your house. Wow. And I'm going to take the candles myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And depending on your delivery, we'll decide whether I light them right then and there and oh use God. the flames to burn your home to the ground. <laughs> Okay, I'm being extra. No, I seriously would be like, bitch, what are you talking about? Like, why are you buying my nigga candles? What that do you do you sense it, like do you honestly not see why that's weird? I don't. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I think that that is perfectly reasonable. <laughs> to buy I... your friend's nigga, new nigga, some candles because they said they like candles randomly. If I'm already at Bath and Body Works. What the fuck the does that have to do with this nigga that you already there? It's, it's thoughtful. And it's not like she went out of her way to spend like a hundred dollars on a candle. Bitch, you lucky if I think to say hello to your ass when I see you, bitch. Oh my God. No. See, people who are attracted to men are crazy because that is crazy. It is a fucking candle. <laughs> I would have said, girl, they are just candles. Relax. Same way your friend. I would have said, bitch, if it make you feel better, you can come get them and pretend like you got the candles for your man and wrap them up. Like, whatever. My like, nigga don't need no goddamn candles, candles from none of us, bitch. She can go into the motherfucking <laughs> Bath and Body Works on candle sale day and get them 60% off like the rest of you motherfuckers. I don't it's understand why you being down at the back. That's like if, it's, if, a, if your nigga was like, I love steaks. And I was like, ooh, I just happened to be down at STK, so I decided to go ahead and get you a steak. What the fuck, so, bitch? What? Please do. Why would have anything? Straight to the get house. What the Please. Get what the fuck Please you are at steaks. Bath and Please Body Works for for yourself, <laughs> bitch. That's what you do. That's what the fuck no, you do. If crazy. your nigga says that he loves pop sockets, I'm not going to be like, well, I happen to be at Target. Weirdo. Are you kidding? It's just being, it's called being a thoughtful person. Think about your motherfucking your self. You think, of, you think <laughs> about you, bitch. You think about whoever the fuck had you down at the motherfucking Bath and Body Works in the first no, place. Uh -uh. Buying my nigga gifts. Have you lost your goddamn don't be? If bitch? I'm already there and I see the candles on sale and your you're man like, says oh, something, yeah, I'm gonna your pick it up. man. This said is so that crazy. he likes candles. Let me buy him crazy. some. This is really crazy. You know, Jade's husband. Let's rewind. Wanting to learn how long more has about she been statistics. with this person? And I gave him six months, so not a long time. How long has she been with this person in this letter? I said six months is not a long time. If you bought but something for Tristan, I didn't even buy it. I gave him something. 
Jay's I, I gave him my husband old of years. But I would have done that for anybody because it's not like I'm still using it. It's not like I need it. I have everything I need from that textbook. I would give it to yo man. <laughs> if you know you. If he, he wouldn't keep it. To- <laughs> Y'all are on crack. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if really? you gave if you gave my nigga a gift, like honestly, odds are that I would not feel no kind of way because I right. I mean, we don't. We're not. That's not going. I mean, but still, like lesbians, so, I would still. I would still. If your girlfriend said, I would oh, never wow, buy I your bitch love a that lavender candle. Thing. Let me tell you something. If your nigga <laughs> was like, oh, I love you know. I love oh champion basketball shorts. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, my, I just happen to be in Macy's. I mean, if they're on sale and it's not like I had to really go out of my way for you it. You know what I would I'm, do? You know what I would do? I would be like, hey, bitch. Crazy. Hey, bitch. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The nigga uniform is on sale down at the Macy's. You want to oh come? You might want to pop down here and cop something for your stud spin. Okay, Make it a blockbuster but, night. That's, that's and what I would do. Wrong with that. You there's girls wrong with are that, out of order. That, no, it's not. And that bound. Serious. It's just not. <laughs> do you think your best friend is trying to steal your nigga with candles? Do you really think Who that? knows what anybody is out uh-uh. is, is doing these days? <laughs> Might be a multiverse uh-uh. situation. Hey. All of you girls are weird. I don't trust none of y'all bitches. Oh, uh uh-uh. uh. That is crap. I'm so sorry. That is ridiculous. It is like she My nigga that I just, just got. Candle. My nigga that I uh-uh. just got. If we're talking about you somebody like, that I've been in a relationship with, I don't even know if I like this bitch yet. The fuck you buying them you gifts for? You act like I gave him something. So you act like I got a mold of my pussy. Man I don't give a him. fuck if a they candle. are peanut M and M's, bitch. And what I'm are no, no, you buying them for that nigga for? <sighs> I want to remind wow. you again that okay. your niggas at right. best are lucky if I dap them up <laughs> when I see them and I'm talking 12 months deep because I, I don't, don't want you to at all get comfortable enough mm-hmm. to think if and when this is done that you could talk to me about the weather bitch because you can't and I don't want you to think oh well there was that one time that kid that Fury went down and got me the cherry blossoms and I thought that that was so thoughtful so I could probably hit him up now that things are on the house and ask what? if he can talk to the doll baby in my favor because that you know so... she won't pick up the phone we aren't no. friends oh my god <laughs> We don't have to be friends for me to be a thoughtful person. And again, it's you know what's not thoughtful? Like I'm breaking the bank. If I'm already at Bath and Body Works and I see a candle, and if you we are your favorite all candle, already at Bath and Body Works, not- here's a here's scenario. <laughs> here's a scenario. I'll throw you a bone. I'll throw you a bone. Y'all are wild. We're all at Bath and Body Works. All of us. We're all together. Oh We're going shopping. It's friendship. And I'm like, yeah. oh, girl, I love these candles. Oh, they're so great. I love these candles. I can't get enough of these in passing. And then, you know what I mean? Okay, I fucked this up in the scenario. If my <laughs> nigga was like, I love these candles or whatever in passing. And then you bought him the candles oh. because we were right actually bitch what are you talking about fairy shut your motherfucking ass up y'all are so crazy what you're gonna do is you're gonna Mm -hmm. stay over there girlfriend that's what you're gonna do (laughs) y'all are (laughs) i just it's a candle i would not be getting this i don't give a fuck if it is stuffed crust pizza great yum (laughs) delish i don't give a fuck if they're skittles so how would you handle this with the friend who bought candles for your man at that point Hmm. it's in my nigga's court because you're playing a game she didn't even tell the nigga she told her it's not even like she went behind your back and gave him to the to the nigga, that's how you are. But didn't know you say it. that she said something like handed about it? Did she say like, "Oh, you can come get the, the candles," or did you say that? You said that. I said that. <laughs> All right, she was talking about some. Oh, they're just candles. Calm down. All right, then give them to him then. 
Give them to him then. So, At that okay, point. Okay, so you don't care then. Good. No, I didn't say that. I said <laughs> give it to him. Give them to him. Give them to him. Oh, I wow. want to see this. I want to see this play play out. Give them to him. And I can't imagine him being anything other than surprised and grateful. Wow, thank you. That's really thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Merry Christmas. Great. <laughs> like, tis the season for doing nice and you things know what? for people. Are you serious? It's just both of your luck that I happen to have some matches <laughs> and some lighter fluid. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people agree with you. I'm sure they do. I'm sure a lot of people are like, eh, eh, I'm eh, I'm eh. actually like... I'm not this crazy. I'm being extra mm, because I'm high. Mm, but mm. like, I do, I think it's weird. I do think it's weird. I think it is weird to buy your friend. Unless again, it is a situation like, y- like you and I, where odds are I'm going to be dating something that you, someone, something. <laughs> I'm going to be dating someone that you are not right. attracted to and vice versa. The people versa. we are partnered with are nothing, nothing alike. They, they would never be attracted to each other or anything like that. I'm, so. I don't know why you would want to buy your nigga, like your friend's nigga, oh their God. nigga that I'm they've been nice dating person. for six months. <laughs> Who can, like, it's a four. I think it's. Candle. I think it's weird. I think it's weird. Ten dollar candle, whatever. Think, especially it is. then, so that nigga could go down to the wherever the fuck and buy them candles as motherfucking self. You're weird. Then, so it don't even weird. have to be all that. But weird. since it bothers weird. you so much as weird. your friend, or what I would recommend you do, Frida, is tell her that. You know, you've had some time to think about it. Y'all haven't talked since this no, conversation, which is really funny. No. So no, I no, funny. I would talk to her and so I would talk to her and be like, I just want you to know that like I felt a way about that because it kind of feels like maybe you trying to sneak around and give my man some pussy and so No, see, right. this is not what you going to do. No. But it's clearly no, because cuz it's clearly <laughs> the only reason you're you feel weird about it or upset about it is because you think this bitch is trying to move in it's on your It's not man. about that. It's not about that. What it, so what could it possibly be? It's just weird, bitch. Can it not just be But weird? it has, no, it has to be weird for a reason. There has to be a reason for it to be weird. I don't. I just feel like it's overstepping. It's weird. It's it's, it's a, weird. How is a candle a candle overstepping? Especially how not much? Even, okay, hold on. She did not go behind your back to give your man this candle. No, she, she told you. Like she, right. So then it's all the more reason. It's like, why would you trip off of this? I think it's weird. Yeah, because you think that they trying to get your man. I'm not saying that. I just. <laughs> but again, you have to understand. What I have the mindset of like at best six months in, like we might all go out together and I will like laugh at whatever dumb joke you told and like genuinely enjoy your presence and not be completely cold when you speak to me. And it's not because it will, it's not, I was gonna say it's not because I'm a raging bitch, but I am. It's like not just that. It's because, like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be sticking around, bitch. And when you're going, don't speak to me. Okay. I'm not team you. I'm not team you. I don't like signal. I don't like crossing signals. And it's the same thing. If I'm in a relationship, if I'm dating somebody and we break up, don't call them bitch because they can't help you. Nobody. No one over there. No, I don't give a fuck when nobody is talking about I'm on me time. I'm on whatever time I'm talking about. I just don't think it has to be that big of a deal. I would have told my friend about it. I would have assumed my friend was level headed and was like Bitch, that is so nice. <laughs> that is so got, if, nice that you bought my nigga romantic gifts. Romantic gifts? It's a candle. <laughs> it is a candle. <laughs> it's not roses. One of the most essential uh, It's pieces not a private a cruise setting. for two, a sunset cruise around the river. It is a fucking candle in a store full of a bunch of other shit that smells exactly like that candle like so you put them in a, in a every gift bag mall in America. and I'm gonna and, and you're calling me about them so that I can come and pick them up and then give them to if him if you want to if you want to okay. yes that's what I mean I just think the fact that she was not sneaky or underhanded about it means that you can it's I mean not, and this again, is your best friend again I just don't think that you have a reason to distrust again, her motives for it I, don't I think it's, just it's no. for me. It's not even about like, oh, you're trying to fuck my man. You never know. 
Right. Okay. But I'm just like, why? I don't, I would do that for someone that's like, again, like if you were married or if you've been together for uh, an amount of time where it's like, oh, this person doesn't seem like they're going anywhere, then maybe six months in, I might like, I might cover the bill at Cheesecake Factory for a nigga and you. So you would cover the bill at Cheesecake Factory, but a candle is out of line? Yeah, I, but I do that for all I do The that Cheesecake all time. Factory bill is way more expensive. Yeah, but I do that all the time. Covering okay. a, a bill for food. It's not the price. You're okay. You, mm. you're playing the game. And this is how <laughs> motherfuckers get cussed out. And that's the problem now. I'm talking about some ladies. You should just tell her, I think you're trying to fuck my man. you trying to set her up to go and talk to yeah. this bitch and, and, and have her go back and be like, girl, you sound crazy. Oh my God. It, no, I, mean, I shouldn't have to say do. nothing to you. I shouldn't have to come and talk to you again, bitch. You should already know <laughs> just on GP crazy. that this is strange. You should know that. <laughs> I said, say, go ahead and tell your friend that you, you don't appreciate. You want me <laughs> tell to her come that you do and talk to you <laughs> about this, so you can say that I'm crazy. Well, guess what? Guess what, bitch? I am crazy. We kn- yeah, yeah, we know. What? <laughs> we know. And so, if somebody came to me and was like, honestly, I just felt very weird that you heard my man saying something and then you saw that thing in the store and were thoughtful and picked it up for him. I just didn't like it. Is this for Christmas? Please don't do, I mean, you got him the candles for Christmas. I got him the candles. She didn't say that. She didn't say Christmas though. She just said, you know, I was there. I saw the fucking candle and I got it. And if somebody came to me and they were really pissed that I was thoughtful, then I would say, friend, you never have to worry about me doing this again. Work. And let's leave it there. Since and, you feel and get, threatened, and it's left. Since you feel threatened it's over left a candle, right there, a candle. That means you don't trust me or your fossilized You place, feel threatened over a candle. It's left. Don't worry about it. Do uh, not worry about it. I will <laughs> not do it again. <laughs> you win. <Great. laughs> Absurd is what this is. <laughs> and I know y'all like that's exactly like it, you feel threatened. You feel like I'm it's not moving on it's your just dick. Weird, but it's weird for a reason, friend. It's not weird in a vacuum. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because you feel like I'm trying to sneak around and I do something inappropriate with your man. Since I was the like literally like college, I've just always been like. This is here, that's there. And it's not until a nigga speak. And I'm not even just talking about on my side. Again, it could be your nigga. And it's like, oh, hey. <sighs> and okay. guess what? Well. Every time my friends have broken up with somebody and they get to calling around friends and getting on their nerves and trying to get back, guess who they don't call? Me, bitch. Never. No, they have. Ne- I'm always in the group chat or whatever talking about, oh, this nigga been on my phone or came to my house or whatever. Guess who they did not reach out to? Me, bitch. And that's fine. That's fine. If somebody's ex nigga reaches out to me, I can handle that. That's not going to, <laughs> that's not going to like have a significant impact on my day. That's fine. I can handle oh, that. Oh, so you can buy I was candles. just. But you can't pick up the phone when I'm really in crisis. Shows correct, what kind of person nigga. You really correct. are. That shows your heart. That's, that shows what kind of person you and, really and are. And I'll be there. That's what, what the difference would it make do. to me? That's what you're what, do. Why would I care about you saying that? I literally don't care. Even if he was like being nice, like if I said, like if I, if somehow the candle deal went through. And I dropped him off or whatever. And he was like, oh, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. I would be like, I don't get too mushy, nigga. It's just a fucking candle. Like, I just, I feel like, <laughs> Frida, I think you need to investigate Maybe why this bothered you so much. But coffee. clearly it does. And so I would say talk to your friend about it. Don't let your eight-year friendship <laughs> dissolve because of something that is so... <sighs> And you I know what else you shouldn't let happen? Consequential. You shouldn't let this Don't bitch let just no because bitch give she's been in motherfucking no psychology <laughs> school for 18 years at this point make you motherfucking think like there's anything wrong with you just having some questions and maybe a few concerns when it comes to this uh, approach. But she answered your questions and you were still like, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> so, okay. Ask yourself why you don't like it then. And you that's fine. Your friend? 
Do you not trust your man? Ask you. You have some hard questions to ask yourself because I would just be like, well, I cannot believe you really thought about that nigga. He ain't all that, but okay, <laughs> I'll come get him. Like, <laughs> and that would be that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you handle it however you want to Frida you let us know how that goes and yeah, I am going to end shooting. the questions right there <laughs> okay well we do have one more update from Frida I don't know if you remember Frida but she sent in a <laughs> question last week about candles <laughs> <laughs> And so Frida says, hey, y'all, Frida here. Thanks for the advice. Oh, Frida here. Yeah, that cute. And just like that. (laughs) My best friend and I definitely have opposite taste in men. So the thought of her trying to fuck my man never really crossed my mind. Initially, I felt exactly like Kid Fury because I had plans to go get them candles myself. But my friend had already done it before I could. Plus, she usually doesn't like my boyfriend's. And this is the first time she's ever bought anything for any of them, including my baby daddy. So I was really confused. Hmm. When we <laughs> when we first talked, I was really feeling away and I got off the phone before we could finish the conversation. Hmm. When we finally really talked about it, it turns out she was going to Bath and Body Works anyway and just picked up them candles for me to give to him. And after we talked it through, I felt silly about it. She and Crystal were right. It was just some damn candles, but we're all good now. Enjoy your Christmas and your New Year. Thanks, Frida. <clears throat> as I said. <laughs> it ain't no as you said. It is. It's something. exactly as I said. <laughs> Frida, you've been lit with gas, honey. <laughs> no, you have not. <laughs> Why did it take this many motherfucking conversations for you to just say I bought these oh candles for you to buy the for you to give to the nigga? Why nigger? did you get so mad that you hung up before we could finish our conversation? Furthermore, because I emailed Frida back. I said explain you this just to said, me. Hey, girl. I did. No, you could check the inbox because I emailed Frida back. I said explain to me why she didn't just tell you that the first time, and she said it's because I was deep in my feelings and I was irritated and I didn't want to talk no more, so I just got off the phone. And I didn't want to talk again. So the girl, the friend never even got the chance to be like there for you, bitch, for you to give to him. She was just automatically pissed and didn't want to hear shit else. It is. So Frida said herself, it was just some damn candles and we're all good now. And I'm so Mm -hmm. glad to hear that, girl. Congratulations. I bet. To you. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but you have really inspired a lot of discourse <laughs> a lot of people are beefing with their friends right now behind this mm. <laughs> they're going live on instagram drunk and angry so oh um <laughs> a lot of, and you don't have to buy it but all i will say to that is you don't have to also why did it take some motherfucking long of a we nigga shouldn't even, you. even gotten to the hanging up point we should have never even gotten to the hanging up portion doll face okay. you could have simply initiated the candle mm-hmm. conversation by saying hey True. was that the b and the b and the b or the b and the b and the w what is it right i was at the, the place <laughs> okay and your niggas said he like candles i got some for you to give it to him this could have been oh, why God. wasn't this clear in a sentence I feel I feel the same way. Why were you so pressed over your No no, that's not what the fuck kind. I just said. You don't feel the same way. So don't try it. <laughs> See, this is you have a friend just like this bitch I'm talking to right now. Y'all like to play <laughs> games and you like to motherfucking like you like to incept okay. the girls' minds All and right. fuck with them and then try to make them feel crazy. Why didn't you say okay. straight up, now tell me, do you really want to give me these motherfucking candles forever? Why didn't oh, you say wow. that? Why did we have to even get to a point where I'm confused? confused why did frida have such why are you telling me to calm down and they're just candles when you could have just said oh no girl i got them for you to give to him why i'm not gonna give them to him why does she have such an attitude that she did not even want to you've never bought any of my niggas gifts you've never bought my baby father gifts what is it about this particular nigga that makes you want to come about of your pocket you know people grow up they change oh they they do Yeah, they, they do, do things differently. They oh, do that's that. what it is. Okay, things great. do change. I'm just saying, if you're that, that bitch pressed, tried you, and I'm here. To are tell you worried you right about your best friend today, fucking your man? It's not are you about, really that. Pressed about that. It's not about that. It's not okay, about so that. So what is it? So it's what not is about it? that. Oh, so you wanted to have a part two? You wanted to do this again? If you want to, if you want to, it's because not about I don't that. understand what the. So what is it about? 
I would love Why to are you cracking open your motherfucking wallet for niggas that you just because met? Because the candles are $10. Buying- because the candles are on sale. She, I the girl said she was going to Bath and Body Works anyway. We're free. Niggas be buying cases of them candles. Don't care if they were giving them away. Okay. I don't care if okay. they were free. The price is not right. about. It's not about that. Why are you thinking about? I have a but baby with a nigga this. that you have never discussed getting anything about. I have had exes before that you have never. Why now? All of a sudden, mm-hmm. are you after six months? Like I am going to crack open my wallet and not just buy gifts for myself but for this nigga and then when we talk on the phone you didn't directly say hey girl your nigga said that he like this here come get these so you can give them to him you're mm-hmm. saying that i got some gifts for this nigga because he said x y and z That's why have said. why is there a breaking conversation before i can for me to say anything before you tell me that these are for you to give to him why you got to ask Frida and or her friend. All no, I don't have to, to ask Frida because Frida has already been my, gaslit, much like you like to do, she has, into thinking I that she was the like, problem. And I want Frida to reconsider you? the fact that that bitch could left them motherfucking like candles you? at Bed Bath when? and Beyond <laughs> or and Body Works or Works Body no, or no, Body no, Party no, 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 no. or wherever the fuck no. she got them shits in the first motherfucking place. Because if there is one thing that I can guarantee you no. about those places is that those candles will be there and they will be on sale again in the motherfucking future. Her, bitch, you didn't have to come out of your goddamn pocket. You who gaslit who? I want to know why. Who gaslit whom? You want us to buy that nigga gifts, and I want to know why. When have I ever in my life gaslit? Now, you? I would love now, after I've how? expressed that it was strange, I'm making you and hung question up on what you. is real. Now, I'm after you I've question expressed real that life? it's strange, clocked it and hung up on your ass, it's oh, I, it was actually for I'm you. I'm making oh, you okay. question. Yeah, your, no, you're right. Making, Everybody's right with me. So me, I'm doing that. I'm making you question your own perceptions of reality. Hey, I'm, I'm doing the that. Fucking thing. Except that's what exactly what gaslighting doing. is. That's exactly, exactly except what gaslighting what you're is. Doing. So. Oh, okay. So then I'm not gaslighting because I literally don't do that. I don't deny anybody's reality. Mm. I just said mm-hmm. that first of all, I can I can say yeah. that me as a person, I would not have always purchased something for a very close friend's partner, but it is not something that you I am opposed would have to doing not now. Purchased anything. For and, anybody's you, niggas. and you because and we will you will date niggas for four years and you and still be shall at we brunch. do this Chris is giving this. oh everyone come and over fine. and Crystal but can give that everyone that I like my correct if I text my you friends. if I text you, you then can you come can come over. over right that's right and so then you have to look at your nigga that this bitch has known for five years and say um, hey I don't know what you're about to do so yes, that is not, I'm not gonna deny. So why that I are have you giving? That. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> sickening, girl. Six months in, we're just thoughtful, because, honey. Everyone is trying it, and you know why? Because as you know very well, any one of my friends could do this, and I would not feel a way about it. And you would not feel a way if something happened and I bought something for your nigga. You would not feel no type of way about that at all. You said yourself, you would actually question my sanity. Like, what happened to this bitch to make her a whole different type of bitch? Yes, to because that buy level of kindness but you would not, but what you would not do, after six but what you would not do, towards what would very likely be a cisgender male but what you would, would be not out do, of bounds free. It would be out of order what and strange. You would not do is question me as a friend and whether you should end our relationship over a candle you would not do that that is because you know it just as well as i do you find most of the niggas that i date listen i find most of the niggas that all of y'all date all of y'all it's not your niggas i don't find everybody i don't think that you personally i would have any concern or trouble with Correct. when it comes to Correct. whether A, is she going to fuck this man or B, is she going to keep in contact with this man when I throw him away? And same with that Candace. Is you. Sure. You would feel the same way about but I know the best them. friends you have known I know all your these life. people. I don't know exactly. Frida's it's goddamn best friend. friend. It's a I don't best know Frida's friend. motherfucking friend. I oh don't know God. her. 
I don't know. But her. all I'm saying, and so what I'm saying is, what's the worst that could happen? They fuck. Yeah. I don't care. Honestly, not, if again, my man I'm is not even thinking if about my just man that. is willing, uh, I know, but I feel like for most people, the threat feel here is that your out. friend is trying to move in on your man. But like, if it's, my best friend is willing to betray me over a nigga, and if my nigga is willing to betray me over a candle, then y'all can have each other. I would rather y'all not be in my life. I'm literally not that pressed about it, and I trust my me. best friends. I could, I would leave my computer and phone unlocked around my best friends and not worry about a fucking thing. Same. Not one fucking thing. I'm, because it's about trust for me. Yeah. I literally trust you with anything. Meaning, if you buy a candle for my nigga, I'm not going to blow up and get so mad that we can't even finish the conversation about the fucking candle because it's a candle and you're my best fucking friend. That's all I'm saying. Gaslighting, absurd. <laughs> did nobody gaslight you at no point during this process? Did anybody gaslight you about anything? You want me to feel I didn't, like... What I don't my, want you to feel anything. Feelings. Okay. Nope. I don't want to change your feelings. I want you to understand mine. All right. Hey, y'all. It's me, Claudette. Sister Claudette. From the greater Mount Zion Episcopal Heaven Noble with Jesus Christ Baptist Church. And today I'm here to talk to you about None other than State Farm. You may be surprised to know that great insurance is available for a surprisingly great rate. You know what is else is surprisingly great? My fritters. That's right, girl. My conch fritters on a fresh Sunday evening. The whole family loves it. And sometimes I decide that I just can't do too much because I don't have the insurance. <laughs> okay. I don't have the insurance <laughs> all this life for everybody to come over here and hug me as tight as they do for these fritters. But what I do have is Stay Farm. And you yourself can get surprisingly great rates on your car insurance. And you don't even need to have a special connection on the inside. Uh, you can get these awesome rates just for being yourself, honey. And it feels like you're getting a special treatment that we all deserve these days. Everyone by my last husband. Mm. Mm. Amen. But we'll talk about Jamal another time. Stay Farm is not just another insurance company. They got the coverage that meets your needs for a price that fits your wallet. Because Sister Bernice told me what you're going through. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about State Farm because like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Let's move on. Okay, so I don't want to take too much time. I'm just going to say we've already rem- we've already mentioned Lil Mama <laughs> posting something on her fucking Instagram story the other day linking, uh, you know, transgender visibility to some theory of you know depopulation attempts around the globe or whatever (sighs) fucking dumb shit she found in her youtube her hotep youtube channel (laughs) playlist or whatever the fuck so since she's posted on her story that uh she says i'm about to start a heterosexual rights movement girl anti-lgbtq bullying she then goes on to say, y'all fight so hard to respect, to be respected, and some of you, not all, get a kick out of bullying people for having an option. How they dress, how their hair and or makeup looks, how much money they have, etc. There are so many people afraid to give their honest uh, opium because if they do, <laughs> the LGBTQ plus will hear what they want to hear and take statements out of context. Mm-mm. I don't have to prove myself by reminding people that I have loved ones of the LGBTQ plus community. When I speak, I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I'm just speaking my truth, just like you all. <sighs> Here's the problem, uh, Lil. You're not speaking your truth. You're just speaking bullshit. Yes. You don't need to start a heterosexual rights movement. Heterosexual people already have rights. Mm-hmm. They're called rights. <laughs> um, so there's no need for a movement whatsoever. Oh. Y'all can do what you want. Furthermore, you aren't just being called out for having an opinion you're being called out for saying stupid damaging antiquated conspiracy ass fuck shit that has no place 
in anybody's fucking line of sight or in their ears at all. You posted shit about how because uh, Zaya Way did an interview with Michelle Obama, which sickening you could never. You right. have to actually bum rush people's stages to go and stand up next to icons. <laughs> so you could never even experience <laughs> that level of like validation, love and motherfucking sickening to. Oh, so what you have to do is be like, oh no, the girls are trying to depopulate the planet at any fucking cost and whatever the fuck else. We we knew that you were on some fucking shady ass transphobic shit from the way that you handled Laomi on America's Best Dance Crew, a show that I still don't understand your purpose in. But you know what? We're in the today of things. And on the today of things, La Mama, I'm not even going to spend too much time because I've already spent enough of my time and energy letting you know that you're transphobic. But I also today I'm just going to remind you that you are a loser. You're a loser. Mm. You're a loser. Yes. You suck. Okay? Give it up. Okay? Eggs, bacon, grits, retire. <laughs> That's what the next song should be. Okay? How if you talk about some, how I'm going to be transphobic when I'm Bow Wow. Now that's funny. <laughs> now you think that's funny, huh? Mm. Girl, fuck right off. Mm. Girl, and the only people, the only only people that paid lip gloss any fucking attention were the black drag queens that were collecting tips down at the motherfucking clubhouse and like they were the only ones doing it good luck getting booked any the fuck we're moving forward i don't understand why so many of y'all can't just mind your own motherfucking business yes. and allow people the same fucking rights that your dumb ungrateful ass is is, is supposed to be out here fighting for and many rights that you already the fuck have mm. many rights that you already the fuck have and i also want y'all to stop worrying about other people's children and their fucking genitals. I said it the last time that I addressed this. I don't understand why every single time someone under the age of, of 18 or 21 says I identify as trans that you automatically assume that their parents are rushing them to go get reconstructive surgery or whatever the fuck that shit is called. A, not your business. B, why are you thinking of the genitals of these underage children? That's the real question. You really thinking about kids like that, my nigga? Really? So I don't give a fuck about whatever goddamn conversation that you and 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 Doctor Doctor Ankh Jenkins, whoever the fuck it is that you be. I don't care about none of that shit. You sound stupid. You look stupid. And your history gives stupid. You are a loser. And I need you to accept that and leave people the fuck alone. Specifically people that fall under the umbrella of L or B or G, T, Q, I, A, plus, and whatever else is. Because every now and then there's a new one. But leave us the fuck alone. Heterosexual rights movement. Do you know how motherfucking stupid you goddamn sound? Please tell her. Since you sound like the whitest the nigga that I have ever heard. <laughs> heterosexual rights. Heterosexual rights. Bitch, you can go to the ladies' room. <sighs> There's never been an issue about whether or not you could walk down the aisle and it be respected as 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 an actual marriage or union underneath whoever the fuck. Right. What are you fucking talking about? And talking about people. What are, are you fucking talking anything. about? You should be scared to say something about gay people or gay shit if you don't actually know what the fuck you're talking about. You should be scared. And about it ain't it. got nothing to do with you. Transgender people be trying to pee and work. And that's an issue among lives. many other things like living. Are you like, you are a loser. <laughs> and I fully intended to give your black dumbass a break a couple of fucking weeks ago because your ass was on the breakfast club crying. And I felt like, you know what? I'm not going to pile onto, although I felt like that intro was going to be funny to me. I said, you know, I'm even going to pile onto this black girl and her issues. You know, that was such a long time ago, et cetera, et cetera. Now I don't give a fuck. Well, mama, you're a loser. And I would like for you to very much stop discussing anything that is going on with queer people, trans people, gay people, lesbian people. 
unless there's something that you want to tell us about yourself, because you can very easily be linked to someone who can help you get the revelation that you need to get so you can leave people the fuck alone and stop self-hating. If that's an issue. But if it's not, I'll just request that you shut your dumb ass up Mm. and leave it at that Mm. and leave it at that. None of us give a fuck about your lip gloss. We don't give a fuck about your shoe game. We don't give a fuck about your boo game. We don't give a fuck about your breakfast choices. We want you to shut your ass. And that's it. And I'm done. Uh, I just when I saw I was going to ignore her ass anyway. But then when I saw that whole how can I be transparent, transphobic if I'm Bow Wow thing, I was just like. She's simply living for the fact that people are paying attention yes, to her. Yes, yes, that's because, it. And no one was. But people are paying attention to you because you literally sound like a moron. And so, yeah, those are my thoughts of, of Lil Mama. I, you know, hope to honestly never hear from her again. I, mm-hmm. you know, I uh, hope she find some sense somewhere and lives a happy and healthy life Mm -hmm. but you know away from my eyes and ears because i'm sick of the shit and i just don't understand like if you're not even gonna provide us with any form of legitimate entertainment the least that you can do is get off of our motherfucking sack (laughs) when it comes to like the right like why do you have to come to us with this bullshit ass fuck shit that you found on on the 4chan ass hating ass you know right bigotry facebook.com slash bigot like <laughs> fuck off yeah i mean that's really it little mama simply does not provide enough entertainment or quality enough entertainment for me to tolerate this bullshit from her period so she can fuck right off as far as i'm concerned And I also want to cuss out one of my teachers real quick. I'm really, really tired of this bitch. I'm really mad at this bitch. Um, Like this lady, (laughs) I don't know what it is about this semester. Maybe other students can chime in and let me know. But this is my third semester of Zoom school. Overall, I like Zoom school because I find people to be very irritating and they're less irritating in a digital sense. Um. But this semester has been like so much harder for me to get through than previous semesters. And one of the reasons is because of my bitch ass professor. Now, me and this lady started off on the wrong foot because of. I'll call it a miscommunication. I feel like she should have been more clear since she want to be explicit about everything else. But basically, we um, we got into it over one of my quiz grades. We traded some emails. Um, and I ended the conversation by saying, you know what, I just feel like you could have been clear in your instructions here, but since you weren't, I'll take that L fine. So we had an exam last week, right? I devote my time, like at least 18 hours I have studied for this exam just over the past, like the week leading up to it. I was completely ready for this exam. This bitch docked me 10 points off of one of my essay questions again because she was not clear in her instructions of what she wanted me to say and so when I emailed about her about it I said because I type out she gave us the essay prompts in advance so we would know what we were talking about so I typed up the majority of what I was going to say in advance and I pasted it in the email and sent it to her and was like please tell me how you gave me this prompt and my response warranted a 10 point deduction Please tell me because I'm reading it again and I'm blown away by my brilliance. So, I mean, I didn't say that part, but I was really confused. And this bitch came back and was like, I'm not asking you to say ABC. I'm asking you to say a BC. And I was just like, you know what? I said, Professor, perhaps I'm not sharp enough to read between the lines of what it is you are trying to say. But I expect people who brag about how intelligent and educated they are and how long they've been teaching and how every student adores them and how they are very clear and how anytime anybody has a question in class, like the number one response she has is check the syllabus. Everything's on the syllabus. The syllabus is very detailed. The syllabus is very clear. I lay it all on the syllabus. The syllabus is available to you on Blackboard. The syllabus was given, okay, bitch, and yet none of this shit that you're docking me for is in the syllabus. And yet you still taking it out on me, bitch. Like my life's not hard enough. 
Like I'm not already like I'm struggling now to stay in school because I am so worn out. Like I just am so burnt out. I need this winter break so fucking bad. I need a break from school so fucking bad. But it is also because of people like you stressing me the fuck out unnecessarily. If you have explicit instructions and you're explicit in every fucking thing else you do, then don't penalize me for your lack of clarity. That don't make sense. And it's not even like this. I'm talking about 10 points overall here or like another eight points overall here. But it's enough to get on my fucking nerves because I try. I don't know if you are fed up with Zoom students not giving a fuck or half assing things. I really don't know what your issue is. Maybe you have personal shit going on that's influencing the way you act. But some of us are really fucking trying out here. And you can tell that I am putting effort into my fucking work. You know that. And you know that it is your lack of clarity that led to me doing the things I did. So again, how is it all on me? I don't get it because most of my professors are very understanding. They are very clear. They say what they mean and they don't expect you to infer what they really mean. This bitch told me. She was like, I see what you're saying, but I just feel like you were trying to game the system. <laughs> I literally I said, I have to go. I literally hung up the the Blackboard collaborative chat. I, I literally disconnected myself from the blackboard collaborative because i could not believe she was saying that to me bitch this class is not that fucking challenging it's not i would not be coming to you if i was wrong that is the thing about me i'm accountable to my damn self i know when i simply got things wrong i know when i misread that's why i go back and read again that's why i review my things but I, I'm, I'm not incapable of being wrong. I would not be coming to you about this and having the same issue with you multiple times if it was on me. You are struggling with being clear and yet you refuse to accept that it is your issue. Because why would I be coming to you twice about your instructions not being what they are and you be saying to me, oh, well, <laughs> I just feel like you're trying to game the system. How? When I read the instructions you provided. <sighs> I'm just, I need a break real bad, real bad. And I might not go back next semester because school is just absolutely kicking my ass. So I just had to get that out yeah. because I just had, I just emailed this woman the other day. Like, I'm not going to reach out to you again. I'm just going to read your instructions and interpret them the best I can and pray for the best because I have no idea what the fuck you're on. It don't make sense to me, but fuck you endlessly. <sighs> okay i'm done as you all know the characters from married with children had a convention at the capitol um was it wednesday <laughs> it was okay and so yeah i saw so many of y'all saying oh wow can't wait to hear what they have to say about such and such and the third and the fourth I don't really feel like I have much to say, honestly. I am not shocked. Um, in fact, we had been talking about this very thing. Um, I knew that <laughs> as, as Trump supporters got closer and closer to uh, being forced into reality, uh, that reality being that that man is no longer going to be the president very soon. Mm -hmm. That things were just going to get very uh, drunk and messy. Um, and that's exactly what happened. So, but I'm not here. I don't want to read those um, specific greasy inbred hicks. This week, <laughs> this read is going to someone who should have had nothing to do with this in terms of backlash. Someone who could have simply shut the fuck up. As many people who get written on this show could have. This week, I would like to address Carrie Hilson. I knew it. Because she decided. <laughs> I knew it. She decided, for whatever reason, <sighs> to use her Instagram platform as a place, as a meeting. <laughs> Please. To 
hate for Donald Trump after he got banned from Twitter. So the girls, Twitter, Instagram, I think Facebook as well said, kiss our ass. Like you like officially have to go. And honestly, the fact that it took them this long to me is also an eye roll and a shrug, but that's separate. So the, the page is barren. It says account suspended. You know, there's no one over there. So Mama decided to take a screenshot of this man's suspended Twitter uh, page and use this as her iOS press release caption situation. It says, this may be funny. It is. But it is a little <laughs> dangerous, too. Take Trump out of it for a moment. See, this is where I'm already lost because the How? specificity here is just so integral mm -hmm. to like everything that is a result of or everything you're literally talking about. So taking Trump out of it for a moment kind of doesn't work so much. But if it weren't Trump, if it were anyone else inciting, you know, violence and murder and, and, and treason and things of that name, uh, insurrection. Yeah, I, I, I feel like sentiments would likely be the same. Mm -hmm. I'll continue. She says, a democracy must include freedom of speech. Imagine other leaders or popular figures not being able to voice their opinion if it opposes the majority of world leaders. Our freedom of speech being taken from us slowly but surely censorship. If the leader of the free world can be removed, imagine that same right of civilians. Imagine believing every time you read false information detected and propaganda, deceptive reports and flat out lies being <sighs> the only thing we see. So in terms of like grammar and like structure of sentences, it got really shaky there at the end. So if you don't, I, I just read what was in front of me. But the thing that really frustrates me about this, right? And there are a couple of things. But the thing that like, should I start with the thing that really frustrates me or mm -hmm. should I like lead up to it? Yeah, build it up. Okay. First of all, let's get into the text, shall we? <laughs> you saying, imagine other leaders are popular figures not being able to voice their opinion if it opposes the majority <laughs> of world leaders. See, see, you're wrong, Mary, because they didn't ban him for expressing his opinions, you fucking tit mouse. <laughs> they banned him. They banned him for using his tweets <laughs> to encourage all of those ridiculous swiney lunatics Ooh, to literally shit. storm federal property and attack people. And that situation left five people dead. Carrie, what the fuck are you talking about? It wasn't this nigga just going on there and being like, the girls don't like me. Oh my gosh. He literally requested for motherfuckers to go and do exactly what the fuck they did, which killed people, terror, like he caused mass hysteria, literal death and violence. Mm. It's not just a freedom of speech or an opinion thing anymore. What are you smoking and why do you smoke it? And then go to these weird ass, uh, change your YouTube playlists. Cause whatever like rabbit hole you fall into, cause you gotta remember, Carrie was also the one who was like, uh, y'all really gonna act like these 5G towers didn't cause the coronavirus. Yep, she did. Ma'am. She was. Ma'am. Yep, what are you doing? That was. What are you doing? That's right. These motherfuckers were out there stealing things out of people's offices motherfuckers are walking around with zip ties literally screaming out calling out the names of politicians that they likely wanted to abduct and probably kill at this point hun it's not about freedom of speech furthermore it's twitter helen it's not the fucking supreme court <laughs> that nigga can literally go have a press conference right now if he wants yes. to i believe yes. so it's no, sure no one is is stopping him from expressing you know his freedom or or uh exercising his freedom of sp fucking speech that man ain't got nothing to fucking say right now bitch because what is there to say <laughs> he literally let a whole bunch of psychos down to the capitol to break shit bust shit up uh manhunt for motherfuckers and actually cause people to get killed including some of those same supporters themselves what the fuck are you talking about carrie olson mm. but the thing that really bu burns me up a part that really annoys me about all of this all you had to do is put an album out that's all you had to do <laughs> you like that's all you had that's the only thing that people were maybe hoping for you the few people left who even gave a fuck? I have no problem admitting, as I have on this show before, that I used to stand Carrie Hilson. I thought mm -hmm. I still think that she's a great uh, songwriter. She had great production and stuff. And the whole thing that took her career into hell when her making this fucking 
baseless diss record to Beyonce at the behest of um, yes. Polo that other Trump supporting freak yeah. show. Yes, Polo the Don, who's also a Trump supporter, mind you. Like after her fucking career went into the toilet for that. Like most of the people who dragged you over for that, most of the people who did want to hear anything from you out for that, like are in our mid thirties at this point and no longer give a fuck. And you have been thankfully mostly quiet over the years and maybe binge watching things and getting back together with that nigga who plays sports and <laughs> you know whatever the fuck else all you had to do <laughs> was continue being the fuck quiet and put an album out but here we are here we are hon mm. stay away from these weird conspiracy ass uh pages on facebook or youtube or reddit or whatever Please. because they got you out here looking and sounding the fuck crazy did you even almost read the news did you did, like did you click up anything because this whole thing from you again it it becomes difficult to read at the end i'm assuming maybe that's also the blunt but it's feeling <laughs> very like it's feeling very like um fake newsy it's feeling very MAGA. It is. It absolutely feels like you are are pissed and don't accept uh, the Biden presidency. And I'd like for you to keep that to yourself. And at this point, also, I don't need no fucking album because I've tried. I really <laughs> did. If a bitch like me could be like, oh, I'd love a Carrie Hilson album in the 2021 or wherever, the, however the fuck long we've been expecting this album. And she's also come out here and there like, yeah, girl, in the studio. That's what you said in 2013, sis. We'll meet you there. Like, I don't, like, I don't want to hear it anymore. But not why I super don't want to hear it anymore. Because what? <sighs> Freedom of speech? No, ma'am. Like, have you been here for four years? <laughs> do you know what the Constitution says about freedom of speech? Do you, like, do you understand? Do you know what the First Amendment actually says? Because it has fuck all to do with Twitter, girl. Freedom of Nothing. speech is about the government restricting its people from being able to say the things they want to say about government policy and that sort of thing. It does not free not you a random from white consequences man of Jack's your speech. Right. And it means that any private company can absolutely create guidelines around who can be a part of their service and they have the right to refuse access to that service to anybody they want to because Twitter is not a government entity and neither is Instagram or Facebook or any of the rest of them and a this, lot of that is because Republicans have fought tooth and nail for private businesses to be able to stay private and do the things that they want to do remember that I've seen this um this example going around all over the place but that whole Supreme Court case where the gays sued the bakery for their wedding cake and they yeah. were like, yeah, well, private business can can decline service to gays. So kiss our ass. That's that's the laws and that's the way we do it. But now all of a sudden that Trump has been denied a place to literally incite riots. Yeah. Carrie Hilson, dumbass, want to pipe up talking about a democracy must include freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is not a risk here. It isn't. <laughs> it's not. I don't know who That's told you saying. that. I don't know why in all of your 38 years of life you have never once read up on this thing that you felt so bold to talk about. It's just, it doesn't work <laughs> I anything don't like get that. You're, Donald Trump is not being censored. Once again, he is still the president of the United States. If he wants to call a press conference, he can absolutely do it. And all of the major news outlets will be there to report on it because he is the goddamn president. As I said, though, what the fuck is there for him to say besides to do like to continue deflecting and yeah, he no, needs to blaming. stop talking. <laughs> like all he would do is just incite more fucking violence. Sis. Oh. People died and it would have been far worse if there were just a sprinkling of nig on the out on that fucking <laughs> front. Like, don't like, get me started. <laughs> They walked the bitches downstairs, oh took selfies, God. possibly gave the girls gift cards. Like Called everybody was Uber. having a blast, hun. So why, Carrie? That man would never belch in your direction if you were dying, sis. What are you doing? <sighs> what are you doing? I know who you voted for. And that's what I'm going to say about that. I can't believe this. Like the all you had to do. 
was drop an album. The girls have matured some. Motherfuckers have their own bills and shit like that. Our knees ain't working as much. Our jaws crack <laughs> when we eat fruit, like <laughs> apples and shit like that. Like, we just don't give a fuck about whatever the fuck you said about Beyonce way back in 2010 or whatever right. no more, girl. All you had to do was be the fuck quiet. But you chose this. You chose MAGA. Wow. I hope it was worth it, sis. I really hope it was. Because you just like... <sighs> If the leader of the free world can be removed, imagine that same right of civilians. So first of all, those two sentences don't make sense. And they also yeah, yeah. should not be two separate sentences because they do they not shouldn't. express two completely independent thoughts. <laughs> um, but furthermore, <laughs> regular ass people get kicked off of social media every goddamn day and for doing a lot every less day. than what Trump did. A lo- Ask Boosie about what Mark Zuckerberg did to his Instagram. Thanks. Regular people get kicked off of Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and, and well, not Pinterest. Only Trump has been banned from Pinterest. But right. <laughs> regular ass people get banned from platforms all the time for violating the terms of service. They can do that. Yes, they're allowed. I just, and we all knew that. I <laughs> really don't understand. You could have just been silent. Nobody was looking to Carrie Hilson for clarity or, you know, understanding during this very tumultuous time. And y- for you to come out caping for the president and then to be like, huh, y'all clearly don't read because I said take Trump out of it. The entire thing is about Trump. That's that's it. The whole story is about Trump. If you take Trump out of it, there is nothing to comment on because then you're saying, wow, so companies can really ban people who violate their rules. Yes, dumb bitch. That's always been the case. Now what? They've done it. What do you mean? Take They've Trump out of it. God damn. Just write. Like, Just write music and shut the fuck up. As much as as Boosie makes my ass itch, that nigga was trying to see pussy, you know? (laughs) And I don't see that killing anyone except maybe Ross Matthews or someone. But, like, (laughs) this motherfucker actually caused an intense (sighs) attack, a terroristic attack on federal property that led to people losing their fucking lives. And including... Also, a tragedy, Elizabeth from New Jersey got mates. <laughs> Where have you been, Karen? <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? You could have said nothing. You could have shut the fuck up and you could have said nothing. This whole story is the definition of boo. Boo hiss. Mm-hmm. The end. Okay, so for the first one, I'm just going, I'm not even going to take too much time on this one. The Chet Hanks, there will never be a white boy summer. It's just called summer. <laughs> It's, it's just summer. It's just every summer is a white boy summer. All of them. All of them. There's nothing different, interesting, or exotic about you just because you claim you love black women and you fucking, I don't know, listen to Bone Thugs and Harmony or whatever. Fuck we don't like, care. We, we don't care. There's no, oh, not the Trump supporter white boy, the Jack Harlows and the John B's and the blah, 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 blah. Oh, like, no. I guess you're trying to name white boys that black folk like, but Mm-mm. don't nobody really give a fuck about you, bro. Um, I want for you to stop. I want for you to just leave us the fuck alone, bro. Your daddy is Tom Hanks. It's not even like your bad behavior who was like, girl, I just made a million dollars on OnlyFans in six hours because I damn sure couldn't rap. Like, you have... <laughs> Your fucking dad is Woody, bitch. Leave us the fuck alone. Like, stop talking to us in this fucking accent and saying, you know, black queens this and black queens that because you weren't prepared for, you know, in the pre-production for White Boy Summer and Black Queen Summer, whatever the fuck Mm -hmm. dumb shit you thought you were doing. You weren't prepared for us to find out about you allegedly abusing your last black girlfriend. Oh, but we did. Motherfucker, we did. We did. We did. We we found out. We found out. And you know who else found out? That frying pan that you got cracked over the head with (laughs) while you playing games. We haven't forgotten that you feel like you can say nigga. There's nothing interesting, exotic, or fun about you. I want for you to just enjoy the fact that you have money, you were born into it, and you've done like, Mm. I don't know, five roles, I think. Yeah. And on TV or something like leave us the fuck 
alone, my nigga. Leave us alone. Oh, called you the wrong thing. I don't want you to get too comfortable. <laughs> Leave us the fuck alone. White boy summer is never going to be a thing. Never. It's just summer. Y'all ruin it every fucking year. And this one will be no different. Okay? Get stitched up and fuck off. Amen. Next. Um, I talked about Justin Bieber and this weird Martin Luther King Jr. placement that he has on his latest album. Um, Well, the Biebs decided to uh, open up and discuss the controversy where he was, when he was on Clubhouse, apparently. Why? Even I would not go on Clubhouse. (laughs) Why would you do that? Someone's gotta. So... Here is what he has said, according to an article that I am reading on Billboard. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Being Canadian, they didn't teach us about Black history. It was just not a part of our education system. What? What? There aren't. Are there black no people Black in people Canada? in Canada? <laughs> Thank you. They didn't have to teach you about American Black history. Are there no Negroes in Canada at all? What do you mean? Is that what you're saying? I think for me, coming from Canada and being uneducated (laughs) and making insensitive jokes when I was a kid and being insensitive and being honestly just a part of the problem because I just didn't know better. That's not a sentence. For me to have this platform to just share this raw moment of Martin Luther King in a time where he knew he was going to die for what he was standing up for. I want to, you know what? I'm going to pause here anyway. Okay. So let's (laughs) just do some What are we saying? Let's just just go over this. (laughs) So you are telling me that in Canada, they teach you no form of Black history. Fine, right? Let's say they teach a black Canadian history right. instead. Let's say or they do. Exactly. Who Drake is. I don't know. Let's say, but you mean to tell me, bitch, that you don't know who the fuck Martin Luther King Jr. Ooh. is? Are you, are you dead ass? Are you like, you're I feel serious? like you're not. I feel like Girl, niggas around the globe know who that is. The whole <laughs> spinning planet, bitch. The whole thing. The whole I thing. I feel like you know, sister. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? We're not talking about, like, some random, obscure black celebrity, like, like from before years. Right. We're not talking about Flip Wilson or some shit that was like, I don't know yeah. who that is. Somebody you're where really... You, were you, like, just some random, obscure black American celebrity? That's not this. You really are blaming Canada <laughs> on this bullshit let's continue i want to keep growing and learning about just all social injustices and what it looks like for me to be better what it looks like for my friends to be better and i know i have a long way to go (laughs) i love that when people are listening to my album these conversations are coming up and they're like well how is he going from martin luther king into a love song all right we're stopping red light (laughs) You love that people are having that conversation? You love that we're asking you what the fuck you're doing with Martin Luther King quotes? That's a blast for you, huh? Great. He continues, I'm not trying to make a connection between me and Martin Luther King. You couldn't. That's why I never try to talk about social injustice. But you brought it up. But you, you brought mm, it up. <laughs> okay. There's a track on the fucking album like, called MLK right. Interlude. You absolutely we connected yourself, this. nigga. You did this. And we didn't ask right. you to. If you would have <laughs> asked us, we would have told you not to. <laughs> we would have helped you, young white man. Yeah, because niggas love helping white people. But we don't give a fuck that give you on on your album so you feel like you can put. <laughs> anyway. We did not ask for this. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a connection between me and and Martin Luther King. That's why I never talk about social injustice or I didn't want to be the one to talk about it because I just have so much more learning to do. But you felt like this was a good idea. Cool. But I have this man who was ready to die and what he believed to be true. If I'm not willing to face some sort of ridicule or judgment of people wondering my motives or whatever that is for me, it was a no brainer. 
Oh, good. So they got you. I cannot believe <laughs> that you opened your white mouth on Clubhouse <laughs> or wherever the fuck house, Playhouse, Ronald McDonald. House. I don't like. I don't Please. give up, <laughs> bitch. So. <laughs> In conclusion, uh, yes, as Jesus, what you are saying is that you admittedly don't know dick not one about thing. Martin Luther not King, one fucking thing, nothing about him, Said that. nothing about what he stood That's for, right. <laughs> nothing about his impact on the world, nothing at all. And you don't talk about social uh, injustices because you don't know anything about them. But what we do know is that you named your fucking album Justice and put two, two mm-hmm. clips from Martin Luther King's speeches and sermons on your album. <laughs> the same nigga that you admit you don't know shit about. Justin, I want to ask you who cares about you. I want to ask. You know, it ain't me. We know that. But I want to know who is behind the scenes that gives a fuck about you, sir. Where is Scooter? Who do we need to fucking talk to? Because I don't give a fuck what they fucking talked to in school or didn't teach you at school in Canada. Some the fuck body at Team Bieber knew better and chose not to do better. I'm not like, I don't understand why you would come and and say anything about this besides wasn't a great idea. My bad, y'all. You really sit up here trying to say, I'm so glad that people are having this conversation when you're also admitting that the conversation is what the fuck is wrong with Justin Bieber. You're glad (laughs) we're having that conversation. You're not. And also a fuck you. To Justin Bieber's security guard, Lauren Walters, who apparently says that he found this MLK shit very admirable (laughs) because it brings awareness to something that's been going on in America for decades and centuries. Lauren, Lauren, it doesn't because it is a clip. Of Martin Luther King talking about being willing to die for something, followed by a Justin Bieber song where he talks about how much he fucking loves his wife. It is not (laughs) bringing up, like, what? His white wife. (laughs) The only people that are bringing up Martin Luther King's actual impact Mm -hmm. on America and the world and the whatever the something that's been going on in America for centuries, the only people that have been bringing that shit up are the people who knew better and are asking why the fuck (laughs) this bullshit is on his fucking album. And quite honestly, Bernice, I'm gonna give Bernice a break. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave Bernice out of this because Bernice went ahead and, and thanked Justin Bieber, but in the same sentence also acknowledged That he somehow, I guess, donated or somehow supported the King Center organization or something like that. So at least somebody on the team was like, oh, it doesn't really fucking matter the context that we put this nigga on the album. As long as we, you know, donate to a couple of fucking charities and shit. That's chump change. It doesn't matter. It'll be fine. You wiggers are are draining me today. (laughs) Like, you're not going to come over here and try to siphon the flavor out of the motherfucking culture and shit like that. And then at the same time, be blatantly wide ass, wrong races and a fool. Say it. Like, talking about white boy summers and justice. If you don't hop the fuck off of a dick and find some sense, you weird white bitches, I'm done. Exactly. I didn't know about this until like the past week. But apparently there's been like a right wing conspiracy that Elon Omar married her brother. Um, yeah, I've heard that. Those so that are... she could get citizenship in America. Yeah, and they've been saying that for a while. Tucker Carlson and some bitch named, what is it, Miranda Devine were on Fox News trying to once again legitimize this theory 
and citing some random Republican named Anton Lazaro, who admittedly stalked Ilhan Omar and used alleged DNA that he got from a cigarette that he scooped off of, I guess, her premises somewhere. To try and prove that this woman married her biological brother to get citizenship in America. Not only is that the dumbest goddamn bullshit that I've never heard, apparently this Anton Lazaro is was also arrested last week on multiple charges of underage sex trafficking. And this was known when they spoke about it. But they just said lightly, oh, well, he was arrested and tried to dress it up as if the FBI had something to do with his arrest to cover up the truth of Ilhan Omar being incestuous and marrying her goddamn brother so that she could be an American and ruin our democracy or whatever the fuck. And of course, Tucker and everybody else at their fucking axe wound ass antics behind Fox <laughs> wound f- behind Fox News got to act like, oh well, you know, it's just it's entertainment and it's a TV show and da 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 and us all the other it's shit. Nice. Like you know, all of the fucking dripping inbred hogs that watch your goddamn show take every piece of bullshit that y'all motherfuckers say and will take a bullet for it as if it is truer than true this is bullshit you knew that it was bullshit and you wasted everybody's goddamn time and opportunity to come on on motherfucking air and continue to lie about this lady that ain't done nothing to nobody mind her motherfucking business and say that she's married her motherfucking brother to be an american as if it's just ever so goddamn lit over here and then your fucking source your source was arrested for child trafficking for sex trafficking kids. Meanwhile, y'all over here telling full grown goddamn adults they can't play with their pussy on Only OnlyFans no more or take dick on OnlyFans no more because, oh, what about the children? Fuck each and every last one of y'all. A through Z. Fuck y'all bitches. I hate you. I hate your mama for having you. I hate your (laughs) daddy for having you. I hate y'all bitches. I hate every single one of you. Where's your park? Fuck your park. I hate y'all bitches. I hate you. I hate all y'all. I'm so tired of y'all motherfuckers. I'm tired of y'all. And quietly, a lot of you niggas before you who and haul and amen and well, fuck y'all too. Fuck y'all too on the hit. Oh, like, because... A lot of y'all motherfuckers I seen tagged on to Boosie, tagged on the rest of these motherfuckers that don't give a shit about y'all and ain't leading y'all into nothing but pits of fire. They these motherfuckers that y'all celebrate and love and dick ride so motherfucking much really just want to be this. Mm. They just want the freedom to say ridiculous, reckless, unfounded, dangerous shit like this without consequence. And y'all allow it. Y'all allow it, and they don't do anything for y'all or for your community or for your culture besides offer you a thousand dollars if you put your motherfucking pussy on Instagram. I hate y'all. Suck my scrotum. Good night. Okay, well. (laughs) And before we get out of here, (laughs) I should have no. Elon Musk. Oh, I don't. Okay. All right. Elon Musk talking about some by 2022 or something. He going to have Telsa bots, actual humanoid Telsa robots, (laughs) Tesla, whatever, actual robots walking about and doing laundry and shit. Elon, I have a couple of words to run by you. (laughs) Terminator. I robot, 2001 Space Odyssey, Westworld, Tron, The Matrix, Age of Ultron, Deus Ex Machina. Bitch, like. Mm. How many more sci fi artificial intelligence fictional stories do we need to have for you motherfuckers to understand that this is a bad idea? If ever there was not a time to introduce artificial intelligence to what's going on in the human world, it is now. Cause I know you program the right robot to see what's going on on planet Earth. They're wiping us out and I can't blame them. 
I can't blame them. What am I supposed to tell the Terminator when he come to my motherfucking door and tell me it's my time to die? Look at our circumstances. Fuck y'all. I hate you bitches. I hate y'all. Good night. I'm finished. I'm officially done. <laughs>